Well, hey there. How are you? So, I uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking the, the rest of the time off this year, which really is only like, what, seven days when this comes out? But, uh, yeah, I figure just end the year with how I usually do it, one big old move of binge. Wanted to thank you guys for all the loves and laughs this year. This is definitely, uh, it's been a year. Yeah. So, let's just get right to it. Okay. Oh, right. The, the, the thing. I gotta do the thing. <clears throat> it's a bit! Here's to the kids that use fictional characters as a way of coping. Here's to the kids that stay up late crying to their favorite characters. Here's to the kids that imagine their favorite characters by their side when they're experiencing bad anxiety in public. Here's to the kids that need works of fiction to keep on surviving. Adding a shout out to adults who cope in this way too. Life doesn't become easy just because you've grown up. That! Tumblr doesn't actually run on code. It's held together by the pure belief in this site. This is why it gets so bugged. That explains a lot. I just had a realization. Vegeta knows what clown means. Saiyans had clowns. Yes, at least one. His name is Vegeta. Wait, him, the king, or the planet? Can I eat myself out of my body? Like astral project into a black hole so my brain stops quivering in my skull and yanking my nervous system around with it? Making cup ramen is a religious experience. Amen. More like ramen. Leafs through salami slices like dollar bills. And do 20 salami slices. Yeah, we good here? Don't say I didn't do anything nice for you. To all trans guys, the F on your birth certificate isn't for female. It's to pay respects. And to all trans women, the M on your birth certificate isn't for male. It's for ma'am. And to all NB friends, F is for fabulous and M is for mambo number five. Bop, 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 bop. Sing? Hmm, must be the curse. Every time something bad happens and refusing to elaborate is my new hobby. I like it. Ancient Greek astrologers be like, Oh yes, a goat. That's not even Tumblr. You just screenshot it Twitter and put it on your Tumblr. How dare you catchy memes? In an alternative timeline, Homestuck is popular in the mainstream and there's Funko Pop figures of all the trolls. Horrible. Risk of variants are Hot Topic exclusives. Screw cool and edgy power-ups. I want to transform like a magical girl with a talking pet. Well, Vebus, do I have some fun fact for you? As it turns out, in those magical girl sequences, there's so much energy going around that if the villain actually tried to interfere instead of just standing around like a fucking goober, they would die. That's how much energy there is in that transformation power-up. It's hardcore as fuck. Why do Americans freak out over us Canadians having bagged milk? Who the fuck bags milk? Who the fuck brings guns into Walmart? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Everyone's gonna fucking know I painted my cutie mark on. The other kid ponies are gonna beat the shit out of me during pony recess, oh god. They're gonna know I'm an imbecile. I am a girl, and I am very preby. Apparently I was not a girl, but I'm still preby. <gasps> Good for you, Pip. I have something truthful to say, but you guys are not gonna like it. Everyone's always talking about how they want to restart the cult of Dionysus and go wild and all, but honestly, the cult of Dionysus already has a modern-day equivalent and everybody hates them. Guys, it's the theater kids. Yeah, I don't think theater kids get ass drunk and kill people, but I don't know, it's been a while. Get a load of this loser who's never been to a cast party. <laughs> Anyone who says they would rather be an Avenger than a Guardian is a fool. The Guardians go on a constant outer space adventures with a talking tree set to 70s dad music. Plus, they all love and would literally die for each other. What do the Avengers do? Assemble for five minutes and get into a Walmart parking lot fight and never see each other again. Fuck you! Thor Ghost wrote this. Yeah, but the catch is with the Guardians, you have to do it all with Chris Pratt. Can't you hear it? The cries of the anguished. Yeah, me neither. I was kidnapped by Underfell Sands and Papyrus. Underfell? God, I wish that were me. Reminder for the House of Dragons fans. Don't name children after any characters until the show is over. Ready yet? Don't name your kids after characters ever. Because that kid is also a person, person. who will one day have friends. And maybe a family of their own. Imagine someone having a grandma named- Hold on, let me just check my uh, House of Dragon character names here. Rhaenyra. Or Alicent. Fucking really? I really wish I was a cat. I'm not built for this capitalist society, but I am built for, like, sleeping 19 hours a day and knocking things over. 
It says 2022 with the same cadence of Scooby Dooby Doo. Hold on, let me try this. 2022. Whoa. What's the standards for the back rooms? Oh, there are so many violations here. The creature that was chasing me was wearing open toe high heels. It. What? what? Yeah, who's gonna tell these races that the oldest mermaid lore is actually from Cambodia and not Germany like we were led to believe? Humans all over the world looking at the ocean. What if there was a girl in there? Life hack! Got something you need to do at a certain time every day? Start giving your cat a treat right before you do it. You may have trouble remembering, but your cat absolutely will not. That's damn good advice. The cat wrote this. If you ever look up to me, you're wrong. This isn't because I'm short, I'm not short! This is because today I was at a beach and I forgot what sand smelled like, so I decided to stick my nose into the sand and snort. And it went absolutely not excellent. Huge pet peeve in video games is when you can't hold your breath underwater for very long, or it takes a good while to regain your breath above water. Unrealistic. Like, my condolences to the devs for your lack of breath support, but that just could not be me. Yeah, you a frog or perhaps a turtle? I am a saxophone player. Holy shit, they're immortal. Anti-revenge narrative this, anti-revenge narrative that. I personally think that Inigo Montoya had the right idea when he stabbed Count Rugen in the gut and said, I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Yeah, a lot of revenge arcs end with the hero saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back, so me seeking revenge is pointless. The Princess Bride revenge arc ends with Inigo Montoya saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back, so there's nothing that can save you. Now that's good writing. I can't believe it. You played us like a fiddle. Oh, please. Fiddles are hard to play. I played you like the kazoos you are. In trance recently, not by I can fix him or I can make him worse, but the something deeply wrong with him and I want to be around as a spectator when the car crash inevitably happens dynamic. That's a good one. I waited too long to read the sequel and now I can't even remember the characters. A novel by me. I read the whole series in less than two days and now can't separate the events of individual books. The thrilling sequel. That urge to climb the rooftop of your house. Where does that come from? The gargoyle instinct. Unquenchable desire to be the protag in an indie film about teenage disillusionment. All of my problems are at ground level. La -da 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 -da. I complimented an old lady customer's little round glasses and she said, Why, thank you. Someone told me they had a steampunk look. I haven't been called a punk in a long time, much less a steamy one. I'm flatlining. This is so pure. Trans rights. I don't know what yet. I'm looking for inspiration if folks have any ideas. Every day I aspire to be insane, flirtatious, androgynous, and violent, just like Bugs Bunny. Harley Quinn childhood journal entry. I approve every aspect of this post. My favorite genre of anime is wacky comedy until second to last episode where it suddenly becomes soul crushingly depressing. This is literally Angel Beats. I would be so good at having conversations if it wasn't for all the disorders. <laughs> Miss, what's the sweet you like the most? Where did this small Victorian London orphan boy find Wi-Fi? So I live in Wyoming, and today this guy rode down my street on a horseback yelling, THE BRITISH ARE COMING! So the only logical response I could think of is, WE'RE ALREADY HERE, YOU BLOODY IDIOTS! In my best British accent, and he looked back and screamed. This is beautiful, I love everything about it. The only bad thing about garlic is all the paperwork you have to do before you can even cut it up. Look at that. Layers and layers of bureaucratic bullshit. Opie, I hope you realize how strongly you've impacted my life. I think about this every time I use garlic. Every. Time. Y'all have like, actual visual images of your mutuals? I'm sorry, but I 100% picture you as your icon, even if your icon's like, a candle. I assume you're a sentient candle. I do this with everyone online. You have an actual face? No. You're clearly a candle. This is why I get confused with Andy. Sometimes he's just text with a buff body. And then sometimes he's a tiny little, little gremlin guy with a little hat. Look at him, so cute. Not gonna lie, one of my favorite parts about writing urban fantasy is determining how and where the fantasy meshes in with reality. Like, I'm not saying Freddie Mercury was a siren, but have you ever heard anyone not sing along to Bohemian Rhapsody? I rest my case. It's the magic of it. Can't fucking dance to it. Sure as hell can sing along with it. All right, hear me out. Sword. A weapon with a long metal blade and a hilt with a handguard used for thrusting or striking. Behold, a sword. Hilt? Got it. Guard? Got it. Used for cutting? Got it. 
infinitely long blade? Got it. Dace a sword. God, javelin guy's probably cringing at this right now. Good things about owning a lot of games. Choices. Bad things about owning a lot of games. Choices. <laughs> Upon inspection on my blog, turns out I've been a bit of a meanie head. Are you gonna do anything about it? He's gonna get worse, isn't he? ADHD culture is doubting yourself and saying it's all in your head, and then going on Tumblr and seeing an ADHD culture is post that perfectly describes what you're doing beforehand. And I hate it. Finally, the answers to jorts we've all been looking for. My eyes are bleeding. Someone at Square Enix is furious for not coming up with this. Guarantee I'm gonna see this in a patch one day for 14. Did, did Cinderella ever talk to her man about his face blindness? I met the perfect woman, but it was a special occasion. So now wherever she is, her makeup and hair are probably different. This is my nightmare. Rip Prince Charming, who would let the whole kingdom make jokes about his foot fetish for the rest of his life because every blonde with an updo looks basically the same as far as you can tell. They call him Prince Charming because he's always really polite to strangers to cover for the fact that he doesn't know if he's supposed to recognize them from somewhere. And when you're a prince, that shit starts wars. I actually kind of feel bad for him now. Not me saying not me at the start of every sentence to express that I am indeed the person I'm talking about. <laughs> Apply bun directly to the forehead. As an animal science major, I can 100% certify that this is the correct usage of a bun. Based on the bun's look, I think they highly disagree. Genres are outdated. I sort my music by thoughtiness, jam mobility, rebelliousness, theatricality, and depression. You know, good she shanty hits all of these. He's fucked up, horrible, living nightmare. I desire him carnally. There once was a doctor named Freud, who women prefer to avoid. Bitch loved his cocaine, but he couldn't explain. Hatsune Miku Vocaloid. What a year this week has been. It's Monday. It sure as hell is. The earlier in the day Monday you were blog, the funnier it gets. The sad part is, this is all 2019. I still think you gotta be on some voodoo shit to work one of these fuckers. Uh, play pause, volume up down, X back. What's hard to understand about the controls? Burn the witch! Seriously, when I learn that someone is into K-pop, I have a hard time because I don't know how to talk to them. Like, how deep are you in? What level of fangirl are you comfortable with? Is it too late to save you? Only 90s kids will remember. Only 90s kids will ever remember. 90s kids remember everything. They remember the birth of the universe. They remember humanity's greatest downfalls. They remember things that have not happened. Things that might never happen. They can see the death of everything. All of these vivid memories will haunt them forever. Will 90s kids ever be able to forget? I'm relatable, all right? wonder if Guilty Gear has, like, a fandom. Not like a community built around the fighting game, but like, say, the Sonic fandom, or Boku no Hero Academicus, or whatever. I wonder if anyone ever looked at Soul Dude Guy and went, Blarpo. <laughs> Soul Dude Guy! I'm just saying, if seals are mermaid dogs, then otters are definitely mermaid cats. This makes sense. Sometimes, I will read for three hours at a stretch. And then sometimes, I will not read anything off my shelf for three weeks straight. There is no in-between. People say shower thoughts are just your brain throwing out all the bad and sometimes useless ideas. What shower thoughts really are, are in fact what happens when your shower washes away all of your good ideas. May I implore? Bath. All of your good ideas stay in the tub. Things that will survive a nuclear apocalypse. Cockroaches. A few world leaders. Several million Swiss citizens and AO3 authors. Sorry this chapter's late. I spent the last few days trying to find a laptop charger in the zombie horde wastelands. You know how it is. Anyway, as always, betrayed by Sasuke's ass 52 who spent all of her designated Wi-Fi time in the bunker screaming at me on Discord, so I know all of you will love this chapter in the next. Enjoy! AO3 authors after the heat death of the universe. Sorry for the delay. I haven't been having spotty Wi-Fi recently, colon three. Okay, but can we go back to the several million Swiss citizens being able to survive? What's that about? 
about. At the doctor being shown a chart with different types of man-made horrors on them, while the doctor asks whether each of them is beyond or within my comprehension. Th that's... He's just showing you your organ system and your nervous system. That's what they look like. It's okay. Talking to my mom about being ace, and she said, Well, if you were to kiss a gender in the future, what would it be? And I said, A loaf of garlic bread because it's fucking delicious. Yeah. Cats can't do any tricks. Well, wrong. Cats can sniff, fall off things, and lick plastic. This, this is a bad trick. I just saw someone on campus stop the person ahead of me to ask for directions, and this poor man just looks at the student's phone and goes, I don't know how to tell you this. You're on the wrong campus. You're in the wrong city. I want to know the story. Hello, did you know that all the elderly NPCs in Skyrim are part of an unplayable race called Elder because the Skyrim character creator doesn't have an age slider? Age slider? Don't you mean an Elder Scroll? <laughs> Someone please help me. My mom tried to tell me Irish and British are the same thing. What the f I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say? Andy, get the entirety of England. I'll go pick up Ireland. We have someone to talk to. Wait, hold up, Italia's real? I thought it was like that thing where everyone was drawing websites as anime twinks, but for countries, but it's a fucking anime? I'm gonna watch it. No, no, don't, 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 don't. All baby forms of pseudo-legendaries and overpowered Pokemon in general are peak character design. Specifically this rotund specimen. Round motherfucker supreme, operative fat fuck. Thank you for your service. I love him. On my May blog. <laughs> yeah, right, as if I'm afraid of the moon. Logging into my moon fear blog. Moon's been pretty creepy lately. Garrett and Mumbo. These are the most blorbo ass names I've ever seen. Pretty sure you guys are just making up characters now. Oh my god, bestie, I really love the cottage core aesthetic you've got going. Get out of me, fucking swamp! It's me, the Tumblr Man! I want all the microplastics in me to gather together and come out of my face as a pair of sunglasses. Yo, yeah. Imagine being the first ancient person to realize that the ocean and their tears taste the same. Imagine realizing that your sorrow and the waves share a taste. I would have gone crazy. Uh, okay. Behold, brothers. I thought this was Tumblr's weird ad for skincare. Dermatologists hate him. I think some of you need to eat a slice of cheesecake and listen to ambient rain noises for 10 hours. I want you to know I did this exact thing yesterday and it was so surreal seeing this post. I thought I wrote it in my sleep. You are one of my sims. They also might not be giants. Let's not get our hopes up. Ha Homestar Runner wouldn't lie to me. Still trying to come to terms with the facts that I'll never be a librarian who can speak a dead language and be recruited by a ruggish but handsome explorer for a quest to lift a curse and save the world. Because of the pandemic travel restrictions? Because of the pandemic travel restrictions! Yeah. <laughs> Zelda Four Swords on Switch, but since there's technically eight players able to join Switch games, they have Zelda get split into four also. And Vaddy kidnaps some random rich girl who he thinks is Zelda, and then he gets beat up by eight brightly colored children. Yes, I want to play this so badly. Sick of dressing mysterious and hot. Well, they'll be dressing noisy and unhinged. I made better friends when I looked dorky and weird. Hmm. Ibuprofen and sink water is the midnight version of coffee and a cigarette. I'm starting to think some of you guys might not be okay. Shh. Please respect European cultural dishes. I think I'm dying or I have a common cold. Either way, bye guys. Lockdown, lockdown, just saw a tweet saying it's time to come back to Tumblr. Please, it was so peaceful! We need to be as cringe as fucking possible right now! You got it, senpai! Half-bloods, grab your blood, I don't know, I didn't read the book. Sandman fans, grab your sand! Everyone who is into Super Hulak, resurrect your agent reaction gift folders! Oh shit, wait, this won't work. I think half the problem users were also Super Hulaks. We need the big guns. Undertale fandom! Time to start another AU renaissance! I just like this character. Her character arc and traits in no way are pertinent to how I am or I'm feeling at this moment in time. It's not... not that. Alright, for the first time ever, I'm going to say his name how everyone tells me to say his name. <clears throat> Pookie Cho, favorite McDonald's nugget shape. Fat. Fucking L. That's how I feel saying his name right. Is it just me or does having a positive interaction with a stranger scratch a very particular itch? I think it's the reassurance that the world is not split solely into people who already love you and people who never will. 
Or just the reassurance that I'm not a complete social failure. Uh, or also, it's just nice to know that there are nice people out there. Yeah. My phone had a glitch, now Tumblr overrides my do not disturb setting. I can't escape. Fuck! Fuck. Masculine urge this, feminine urge that. Where's the primal urge to eat a rock? That is not what I read the first time I looked at this one. Oh god. Quick, end the, end the video, end the video! But uh, but Tumblr. Small dog has been knighted and may now be addressed as Sir Small Dog. Proud of him. Big man is like a platonic Tumblr sexy man. A Tumblr lovely man. Tumblr silly man. Tumblr big man. Honestly, at this point in my Tumblr existence, if any of my Tumblr posts end up in one of those Tumblr videos, I would probably turn into golden dust and disperse into the wind. Psst, PM. No, stop, I'm already turning to dust. I swear to God, if I log on later and see PM Seymour in my notice, I'm committing arson and placing a hex on your house. Please don't commit arson. So putting a hex on people's homes is fine, but you draw the line at arson? I mean, my house is already hexed, so it would be kind of redundant. Why is your house hexed? Open the hex box. What? Why'd you open the hex box? That's never a good plan. It said open this, and I always follow directions. Hey, Pandora, is that you? No, no this no, is Patrick. Patrick. How do you feel about the whole Ned situation? You mean the fact that he has to make a school survival guide? Yeah, life's tough, man, especially middle school. Obsessed with animals that don't immediately understand something and just tilt their head about it. Does it make any more sense at a 45 degree angle, bud? Do it. I parade myself as an intellectual, but in reality I just said a lat in, lat out, and laughed to myself for a good five minutes. <laughs> so witty. Is pretty boy even an insult? Everything you say after you call someone a pretty boy is immediately more homoerotic. Like, hello. Pretty boy. Tarot cards are passive-aggressive vodka ants, and no one can convince me otherwise. <laughs> Any ideas for a new park sculpture? How about giant metallic octopus attacking a rook? Perfect. That's cool as fuck, though. I love how humor operates on integer overflow. Like if something becomes so fucking unfunny, it can loop back around to being hilarious purely because of ironic usage. <clears throat> this post is about the Family Guide Death Post! Today I learned that many non-English languages have no concept of a spelling bee because the spelling rules in those languages are too regular for good spelling to be impressive. You ever flex on English speakers by having a language that makes sense? God. People, please, just hire voice actors again, like actual voice actors. No more celebrity voice actors, please. Just hire people who know what they're doing or the voice acting industry will cannibalize itself more than it already has. But you can let Jack Black do whatever he wants though. Open the gate! I'm literally so, so incredibly good at being cozy and in bed covered in blankets, and yet I receive no recognition for it. Satch. <clears throat> you don't want to be rich. You want to live freely. That's it. That's it, man. That's, that's the one. I mean, yeah, he's evil and all, but what if I were his favorite? Massive vow to our ancestors for not domesticating the bear for the ultimate friend. I sympathize with the post on one hand, but also, man, we should have domesticated bears. Has the same energy as a divorced dad being like, I should have married that girl from high school. When the girl in question was never ever interested and also turned out to be a lesbian front woman for an obscure but respected ska revival band? You know, posts like these are why I can't leave Tumblr and have ultimately stopped trying. I am so normal about this piece of media you don't even know. I just, I just want you to play critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. This is fine! Do you ever just try to think at a 45 degree angle and it works? <laughs> Come to the conclusion is because when you lean in that direction, the blood goes to that side of the brain, and then your brain is like, oh shit, yeah, I'm a brain. After seeing your friends for a few hours, sometimes you walk away and return home with a little ball of glowing golden light in your chest. Yeah. Hey, hey, friendly reminder to make sure your supposedly fearless characters get their darkest fear revealed in the worst way possible so they break down into a vulnerable, shaking mess in front of all the people they care about. <laughs> <laughs> Writing it down. Wait, wait, so you're telling me in America you need 59% on a test to even pass it, and you're all expected to get A's, which is like 96% then. How do you survive, guys? How? <laughs> we don't. Send his ass.
on a strange journey. That, that, that's it. That's the entire legend of Wukong right there. Wearing an anime fan's DNI t-shirt to an anime convention and watching people in the crowd be physically blasted back from my energy like I'm parting the Red Sea. For those of you who don't know, DNI means do not interact. Okay, got it, cool. I'm sure someone was gonna ask. Having zero emotional object permanence is so funny. Your therapist asks how your week was and you're just like, girl, I have no idea. None. Horror movies aren't scary. Things like emails, schedules, those are scary. Or appointment made phone calls. You know, if you spell skeletons backwards, it spells skeletons. Man, I can't wait for Halloween to see some Snotelix. Yeah. Fuck! Writing prompt. You never really saw yourself as close to your mad scientist of a sibling, but after a terrible accident, you find them standing over you, having restored you to the best of their ability. Well, I guess we gotta take over the world now. Contrarianism fan versus average nuance enjoyer. Pretty sure it's a bit more complicated than that. <laughs> no, 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 it isn't. You're lying on a sofa, under a blanket, lights dimmed, watching your favorite TV show. Your cat is laid across you, sleeping but purring quietly. All is calm. All is good. But then out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf! So I started with, go to hell is too weak a curse to throw at people. Hit him where it hurts, like, I hope all your soups in the future have a faint bad metal taste no matter what you order or make. And it just kind of snowballed from there. Here are some of my personal favorites. I hope your sleeves roll down while you're washing your hands. You should remember that embarrassing thing you said right before you go to sleep tonight. I hope whatever fandom you're in is overrun by cringe kids who don't understand inappropriate shipping. And every time you tell someone you're in that fandom, they look at you like you committed a crime. I hope your monster husband gets turned into a marketable e-boy. When you're in the desert, I hope you find water by stepping in a puddle in your socks. May the writers completely change your waifu slash husbando for no reason, so now you have to find a new one to love. I feel like that's what happens with the fate fandom all the time. Could be wrong, though. Your bread shall never toast correctly. I pray every book you read ends on a cliffhanger that's never mentioned in the following book. Jeez, that one's brutal. I hope your pillows are warm in the summer and cold in the winter. I hope all your Hot Wheels are missing at least one wheel without rhyme or reason. Damn, hit him where it hurts. I hope all cats hate you. I hope your favorite game, movie, or series receives a sequel announced to be industry-defining, and it turns out to be a shell of what it was, a simple cash grab that will continue milking for the rest of time. Damn, this is pretty relevant with Overwatch 2 right now. I hope Netflix makes a half-assed film adaptation of your favorite anime. Wow, Jesus. Didn't just stop with Tumblr either. It also went to Twitter. I hope that every shoe you put on has a thorn in the threading inside the sole, so when you pull it out, it ruins the shoe. So you have to live with it digging into the bottom of your foot, or have a hole in the shoe for other shit to get in. May you never find a matching pair of socks in your drawer ever again. Oh god, this one is from my friend Austin who voices Roche in FF7 Remake. May all your popsicles have exactly one splinter in the stick. Now I kind of imagine him saying that to Cloud. Jesus. May no garment you ever purchase fit exactly right, but not severely enough to where you can't wear it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hope your auto saves corrupt. That one's just mean. There's an old Irish insult. May you be afflicted with an itch and have no nails to scratch with. And finally, I hope your waifu becomes a shit meme. So what'd you think? Did you like it? Did your feelings get hurt? Did you write down some curses for yourself? Do you happen to have a curse you want to throw my way because that sounds awesome? Reply with your favorite curse below. I don't know how to end this, so Andy, why don't you end it? What's your favorite curse? You can say it or type it out right now. I, it, it doesn't matter to me. Has ever seen a hummingbird in its nest? <laughs> Oh, uh, OSHA non-compliance, I have angered the wasp population! Like, all of them? Okay, quick question, do werewolves eat dog food or human food? A asking for friend? Mm, I don't know if I trust that. L plus ratio plus don't care plus fleshy showered plus lying in my bed plus got my jammies on. Mm, what if- People about to find out that Bowser is canonically tone deaf the worst way possible, huh? Yes, because here's the thing. Jack Black is a trained professional singer, which means 
He knows how to sound off-key. Oh, October, be kind. On God, be kind. I'm handing out chocolate and tea to everyone we're blogging this. Good luck, friends. I wish you all the best. You've heard of humans being severely injured to reveal mechanical insides. Now get ready for a far more horrifying alternative. Machines and technology being damaged to reveal meaty, bloody insides. When you're a space alien, the first human you ever encounter is an aggressive medieval knight. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A what? You know what? Writers can have a little italicized oh as a treat. You've earned it. You know, some fictional characters are relatable in a gender way, not because they're non-conforming, but because they're so incredibly into performing their assigned gender that it somehow wraps all the way around. Like some sort of gender overflow error. Barbie? He-Man? Johnny Bravo? Alright, now that the Mario movie trailer has been released, be prepared for the minions to sing the Mario theme song in a high-pitched tune, followed by some violent slapping and a coin block SFX being played. You know I'm right. Bruh, did you seriously not go potty before you left the house? Bruh. Bruh. Did you not make bears? Duh. In my opinion, the biggest Pokemon flex isn't getting a shiny, but capturing a legendary Pokemon with a normal Pokeball first try. Bonus points if shiny, though. I mean, that's, that, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. Probably bad RPG ideals. The villain is called the Super Hulock. Because they're super powerful, no one knows who they truly are. And they're a warlock. Super Hulock. Andy, write this down, please. I beg you. I own you! You know, skaters literally have a lifestyle sent around a piece of wood with tiny wheels. And you have a lifestyle centered around a little keyboard and a kid's show plushie. What's your fucking point? Wow, the skaters are out to get me. The entire skate fandom wants me dead. <laughs> Children in horror movies are great because they commit. Trying to get an adult to scream in terror requires them to unlearn all the societal teachings that tell them not to be loud or startling. Children are ready to put 110% of their lung capacity into making noise at any time. It, it's it's great. I, I wish. I wish I could learn this. Why nighttime gotta be so damn peaceful? The fucking nerve of her. So beautiful. Mwah. I love you. Behold the above. A violet-backed starling. He looks like a galaxy. <gasps> he fancy! Pepe salad. It's October, so we must once again draw the battle lines between those who like candy corn and those who do not. What? Battle line, nobody likes candy corn. Candy corn is delicious! And so, the lines are drawn. While you were attending therapy, I was studying the blade. What do you mean I need better coping mechanisms? I'm just alive. Uh, Being alive is great because there's so many different vegetables you can saute. But then, there are also the horrors. With faith and perseverance, one day we will saute the horrors. Political ads talk about tax evasion as if it is not basically a requirement for the job now. I like listening to people talk so I can see what's normal and what's not normal. Hmm. You don't win D&D &D by pissing off the DM, you win D&D &D by having a good time with your friends. This, I am so done with you winning D&D &D by making DM cry, create more rules, swear. First, this is not the challenge you want. Second, D&D is not a versus and the DM is not your enemy. They are a player with more responsibilities than you. And yeah, I promise I'll be good. Guy who listens to Spotify when he works out, but it's one ad after another, and you think there's going to be a song eventually, but it's all ads. And you catch a glimpse of the playlist title, and it's ads to relax and listen to. Yeah, this is just what listening to the radio is like. May your L's be many, and your bitches be few. <laughs> Today's aesthetic. Trying to work around the fact you can draw hands by giving the character in question a gun, which you also can't draw. Shut up. 2023 is in three months, and I'm still processing 2020. Stop what you're doing. Canadian lynx also do the thing that house cats do where they stop grooming with their legs stuck in the air. Okay, carry on. They stick their leggy out real far. That paw, though. A mighty paw. That's some big-ass beans right there. Octopuses can fit through any gap larger than their beak. 
Wow, what a beautiful octopus. Me walks into a psychic shop and slams down my tarot cards. It's time to duel! That actually hurt to do. Oh no. I fucked up in the crib watching Bob the Sponge. I love vague labels that make people go, but that's confusing, or but that could mean anything. Good, keep guessing. Queer doesn't actually tell me anything. Who says I wanted to tell you anything? Who even are you? G get out of my house. Congratulations, Claire Natural. You discovered reblogging. Oh. Tumblr, I've been on here for almost a decade. Well, it took you long enough to figure it out, idiot. Hot dogs fucking suck because when I buy one and I eat it, then it's gone. It seems I got some news for you about eating in general, my friend. Weather apps are like, SEVERE THUNDERSTORM WARNING! REMAIN INDOORS UNTIL- Actually, it's gonna drizzle, lol, psych. SEVERE THUNDERSTORM WARNING! It may not rain, actually. NINE INCHES OF RAIN INCOMING! 10% chance of rain. THIS STORM WILL BLOW YOUR CUCK STRAIGHT OFF! <laughs> if Tumblr can show me the latest post and a tag, they should also be able to show me the oldest. Hit me with those sweet 2008 takes, I can handle it. No. No, you can't. Halloween, or rather, Pride Month 2 Electric Spookaloon! <laughs> I hate how I've seen no one talk about the Phineas and Ferb reference in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Barry the Blatibus? That requires playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Anyway, Beastie. Beast plus Bestie. Will you creech or will you silly? I will do... Both. Okay, I think dueling your homophobic parents with giant mechs should be the societal norm, actually. Ah, I see someone was watching Gundam Witch. If you lose your sense of taste due to COVID, do not eat spicy food, because if you're even less fortunate, your taste buds will switch back on, and the world as you know it will exist only as pain. I'm going to drink a gallon of milk and cry. The milk is spicy! The Terraria wiki is incomprehensible if you've never played the game itself. You click on an article about a weapon that looks nice, and the description will be something like, The Slayer of Titans is a pre-Bingus summoning weapon unlocked post-Scrungle. Its base summon damage is 43. Using it activates the skin blow status effect, which increases your yoinky stat. Its EBTB counterpart is the legendary Fuck Upper. It has 1 out of 16, or 6.25% chance, of dropping by defeating Michael. I don't understand, Terraria. Andy, you've played this. Is this right? My gender is chaos, and my pronouns are may slash him. <laughs> Me atop a small mountain of unfinished projects, prompts, half-baked ideas, essays, and answer to asks. Yeah, I'm a writer. Today I learned when Emperor Honorius was told about the fall of Rome, he cried out, thinking his favorite chicken, named Roma, had died. On hearing that it was instead the city Rome that had fallen, Honorius breathed a sigh of relief. Wow, solid priorities. So my friend's kid has celiac and dyslexia, and reading labels is very difficult for them. They're also, like, seven. So, he's teaching their pigeon, Grey Boy, to read the labels and identify ingredients with gluten. It's going well. Other than Nick thought it would be a good idea to make the behavior when the pigeon does find a bad ingredient to just... fucking wing-slap the box. Just beat the shit out of it, like, NO! BAD GLUTEN! BAD! They should add some trench warfare mechanics to football. This is already the sport where they have 10 severe injuries in 30 seconds to gain 5 yards of wet grass. What more do you want? Mustard gas. Tumblr's so fucking amazing. You see one post deconstructing the philosophical ramifications of a song from 1946, and then the next post is about how hedgehogs are wizards and must be punished for their crimes. I've come to the conclusion. Tumblr was made specifically for one person. Dr. Eggman. Okay, Walter White was actually pretty funny as a character because he was so toxic that seasoned drug lords were like, I, I cannot work with this, man. I have to put my mental health first. <laughs> By the way, if I say things like, by God or good Lord, in post, please be aware, I don't mean it in a Catholic way. I mean it in a 1950s scientist reacting in horror after they create an evil creature in a lab set in the distant future year 2005. My God. Wow, Shadow the Hedgehog has started writing haikus. Andy, if you still have that sound clip of Shadow, just <laughs> repeat it. Damn, 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 damn.
damn, 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 damn. Implications of having a bird girl roommate. Free breakfast. Regularly laid eggs. Never lose track of keys. Neck for finding shiny things. You are eating her eggs. In this economy? Absolutely. If you got a cow girlfriend, don't tell me you'll still buy milk at groceries. If I had a cow girlfriend, full solid, I would be drinking straight from the tap every day to save money and for no other reasons. She could even help scramble the bird girl's eggs. How about a polycule farm animal girls get you a sheep girlfriend, infinite cotton? I'm sorry, but sheep produce wool? She grows the cotton. She's very talented. And how about pig girl girlfriend who eats the corpses of your victims? You just can't get content like this anywhere else. Fanfiction is awesome because you can watch your OTP fall in love a thousand times in a thousand different ways. Unless your OTP is a rare pair, in which case you can watch them fall in love six times in six different ways. And you wrote four of them. I guarantee you if I go grocery shopping with either a partner or a bunch of friends, I'm getting in the cart and proclaiming I am indeed an adult. Now bring me down the cereal aisle. Fully able to be responsible in video games, never running out of resources. Completely broke IRL after buying 19 dice sets. Why? You fool! You could have done 20! You had the numbers right there! I'm done with humanity. Can I get a new species? May I suggest sloth? People who think kids are stupid have clearly never once had an attempt to get through explaining a set of safety rules and expectations to a group of them. Lawyers wish they had the falcon eyes for loopholes, technicalities, and potential exceptions that the average third grader possesses. I go outside regularly. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, fine, I go outside weirdly. Shout out to violently unhinged characters with pocket dimensions who have been traumatized so severely that they've become completely disconnected from reality and only seem capable of finding joy in someone else's suffering and becoming a much bigger threat to the MC if they wanted but never chose to do so. Got to be one of my favorite genders. You doing all right there, Sire Therp? Sire Therp? Sire the RP, that's your name, got it. I think the best, most human thing in the world is strangers doing a silly thing together. Can't you make me cry again? It has a tendency to do that. A lot. Bucket Show, you're childish. I'm actually incredibly mature. <clears throat> pee pee poo poo. Okay, well, that, that's just awesome. Like, come on. I am hand wash only. Do not put me in that fucking machine. Get in the machine, Randy! I don't think there is anything more condescending than the dentist asking you how you're doing when it's literally 9 a.m. and you're at the dentist. How do you think I'm doing, Steve? Listen, if you make a woman in bulky armor in your video game and then pull an Uno reverse, then you're like, oh, she was skinny underneath her armor. You are a coward and also my enemy. Because Nintendo's beloved character is Japanese, Mario is his last name. His first name? Itsumi. Way too many people who know it's not getting this one. In my youth, reminisced the old man, scratching his beard thoughtfully, I was quite the corked up white boy. No one in the village could best me at busting it down sexual style. And were you goated, sir? The young boy queried. My dear boy, I most certainly was. With the sauce, I dare say. It's always be the bigger person, and the best thing you can do is be happy, and never. So how is the blood-soaked revenge? The blood-soaked revenge looked fun. People who say musicals are unrealistic because no one breaks out in a song has never met a choir or theater kid. We will break out in a song in perfect harmonies. Don't test us. Honestly, human history makes a lot more sense when you remember how many of the decisions were made by 19-year-olds who drank wine for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 does, that does make a lot of sense now. Never forget that upon saving the world, the gods granted Percy Jackson one undeniable request, and he said, uh, pay your fucking child support. It's even more ridiculous when you take into account the fact that they wanted to make him a god. He then asked him to be responsible parents instead, and the gods replied, Oh, shit, that's a hard thing to do, kid. The Rift is my favorite region in Skyrim. One minute you're admiring it for postcard-like automobile beauty, and then the next you're being mauled by no less than three bears. It's beautiful. Hey, can I bite you? Only if it's gay and you promise to be weird about it. I cannot enter the DMV, lest harmful sorcerers claim my soul. Oh, but you do so desperately need that license renewed, don't you? Surely the sorcerers aren't that harmful. 
You know, you can renew online, save from the sorceress. Silent! Do you think the royal family kids watch Coco Melon, or can they watch only court jesters or something? We're off to a good start. The most important canon facts Tales Tube has given us. Tales uses Tumblr. In his world, Tumblr has a two-tailed icon. The fact above might imply Tails has created Tumblr. Thank you, Tails. 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 <sighs> Thank you, Tails. Hey, Sundial, what are your pronouns? NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Intel Core i5 10400 FCPU 16 gigabyte RAM. Oh, wow. Cool. Thoughts on women and Dice City? I've gotten better at dodging their acid attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? I guess we'll see. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I was walking through the valley of the green glass doors and my butt was there and yours wasn't. Interesting. Writing prompt. Your supervillain nemesis is a little more than a goofy comic relief. Always coming up with clunky machines and insane nonsensical schemes. When a new dangerous villain appeared, your nemesis utterly destroyed them. And then continued on like nothing happened. I'm sorry, did you mean critically acclaimed DreamWorks movie f motherfucking Megamind? And you put up the blue dude! Look at that blue dude! Andy, I swear to God, if you put up the wrong blue dude, I... But some people respond to any well-foreshadowed reveal with, Ugh, that plot twist is so predictable, proves bad faith criticism has rotted their brains to the point where they think it's bad writing if they can correctly identify information the writers were intentionally giving them. <sighs> One of the characters in our D&D party is an orc named Brick. We established that orcs got their names through test of strength, and that his name is Brick because it's the strongest thing he was able to break with his bare hands. By profession, Brick is a therapist. His ultimate ambition is to one day do therapy so good that he can change his name to depression. I went into expecting beautiful himbo and came out in love with Brick and crying over therapist orcs. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Mouse Girl Conspiracy Theorist handing you a folder of documents. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. They all have top squeak rat stamped on them. Very strong addition! Trans guy who finally figured out his name about to come out in the funniest way to his friends. Hey guys, can I be frank with you all? <laughs> That's good, I like that. It's Spooky Month, so I'm once again removing all protection around my house from spooky creatures. Gonna have one hell of a spooky party! <laughs> Don't let the other creature in. Don't. Just don't. All right, you listen to me. Listen. Your actual job in life, and it sucks that your fifth grade teacher didn't explain this adequately enough, is to ask for help when you need it, and to accept charity when it would take weight from your shoulders. Otherwise, you end up like Sisyphus, or even worse, Walter White. You don't want to be Walter White. Hey, is Adosha compliant to Uwu on the job? Absolutely not! Imagine the danger you're putting yourself in! Is Obo okay? Yes! Keep your eyes open! I hate that this is the punchline. Thanks, Osha. In a horse accent. Nope. This is the horse equivalent of being lost in the sauce. What the fuck is a horse accent? Stands in the hallway of your blog saying nothing like a sibling. Going game, hopeful? I'm non-binary, which means that the gender goblin came up to me in the middle of the night a few years ago and stole my gender. And I have been no beanie ever since. But I think... I think the gender goblin tried to return it, but they... They gave me the wrong one. Throws ibuprofen on the ground and watches the aging tumbler populace peck at them like chickens. Hey, don't be ridiculous. Our backs and knees absolutely cannot do that. Yeah, if you could just hold them out in the palm of your hand like you're feeding a horse, that'd be great. A character trope I like is a person who is a nice, good person and acts well-adjusted. Then they do something where it's like, Oh, you're uh, secretly a little bit insane, actually. Mmm, a small black coffee with a blueberry shot. Bugs Bunny injects estrogen and testosterone at the same time and strikes himself up and down like a cocktail. I love it. Hey, why do old people read the Bible so much? I asked the old guy standing in front of me at the post office, and he said, It's because we're cramming for finals. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> Maybe becoming a werewolf wouldn't fix my mental illness, but it would fix my not being a werewolf problem. Do you ever think about that? It's not comfort media, it's things that plague me at night. Hey guys, I'm eating a gummy worm. Do not try to eat the other end while I'm distracted again. Start to eat the other end just to piss you off. Let go! Writing prompt. Hey, you, where the only reason Bruce Wayne is financially stable enough to afford his bat gadgets is that he's been selling Batman merchandise. Somehow nobody has caught on to his secret identity. 
you know, when you think about it, this is just this is just real life. The reason the Batman stories are still going is because people are buying the Batman merchandise. You get it? What do you call two witches sharing an apartment? Broommates. Lesbians. And they were broommates. Oh my god, they were broommates. U.S. President Laughing Skull, when pressed for comment, responded predictably. Uh, Mr. President, what are you going to do about the sudden rise in inflation? I will do whatever is necessary to make it right. Okay. Anyone else feel the dread? Clap if you feel the dread. I just taught my dad what the word cishet was, and he just walked down the stairs and said, Cishet, come down. Well, at least he's positive about it. Putting a popular playlist song on your playlist is so humiliating. It's like, no, I promise this song applies to this character in a more deep and meaningful way than those other characters. God! My favorite thing in an art tutorial video is when the amazing artist has a list of detailed steps right up until the last one pretty much boils down to, I don't know, just mess up with the colors until it looks right. And I gotta say, I am here for this. Listen. Listen, everyone knows there's two type of digital artists. One who actually will traditionally paint the artwork with the brush and the layers and everything. And then there's artists like me. He who paint bucket go burr! All debates about the artistic merits of fan fiction fail to recognize the purpose of fan fiction. You don't write fan fiction to be published or to learn how to construct a narrative, although you can use it to develop style. You write it so that your friends will message you, Bestie, you're utterly deranged for this one and I'm eating dirt! You know those people who are like, fanfic can be good to get started, but it's bad because you never learn how to write your own from scratch. Like, imagine walking up to someone planting flowers and being like, that's a start, but ultimately it won't teach you how to, like, genetically engineer your ideal fruit tree. Like, you've extrapolated a goal that was never even implied here. Love it when you put butter into a pan that's still warming and then the butter starts. And the butter starts sliding down around like, where are you going, girl? Man. Life's so smooth with you. All right, fine, I do look like a hairless cat, I admit it. Proof? You're so forward, starts twirling my hair. How, how are you doing that? Pro tip, if you start saying, hello, as a joke, it'll eventually come to be your standard greeting for all loved ones. Or in a more generalized form, beware what thou do ironically, lest thou begin to do it ironically. Started out as a bit. How did it end up like this? It was only a bit. It was only a bit. <clears throat> Hasman Hotel is family guy for Tumblr users who used to ship dipper pines with a humanized white twink version of Bill Cipher. Sentences to explain to a 14th century monk. Hasman Hotel is the Canterbury Tales for jesters and vagabonds who wrote romantic sonnets as though penned by Lucifer, Prince of Lies, towards St. Augustine of Hippo, but like when he was still a kid. Hey, I want you to know that I finally know what it's like for other people to read my original post. This terrifies me to the very marrow of my bones. Good job. By the way, if you're a Hasbro Hotel fan and you got upset at that, you're legally obligated to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules. Wow, I can't believe they named a band after Korn. Yo, which band? The Foo Fighters. I like the Chucky show because it doesn't try to appeal to a mass audience. Oh, you don't know the lore of the direct-to-DVD movies? Pfft, get fucked. I hope you guys are all aware that this means Chucky follows the same plot mechanics as Kingdom Hearts. ADHD culture is writing fast but having your mind go even faster, so you accidentally a few words. Yeah. I love you, obvious symbolism. I love you, blatant foreshadowing. I love you, gratuitous parallels. I love you, dramatic lighting. I love you, cheesy music. I love you, media that doesn't take itself too seriously. Mwah! Hey, thanks, Tumblr, for telling me I like my own posts. Very vital information there. Oh, hell yeah, my posts are getting attention! You absolute fucking moron. You utter fucking buffoon, no lesser man would entertain the watered-down garbage posts you call your own. You have nothing! Nobody! You call out into the vast abyss of space and rejoice in your own echo! I would kill you where you stand if it didn't mean wasting the energy. Splunkus, why were you liking your own posts? I like having online friends. Hello, university students from Europe. Hello, children show enthusiasts from the United States. Hello, baby gays from Oceania. You guys want to talk about soup? Hell yeah, I do. Just gotta say. Them titties, though, goddamn. Oh, where? Look down, queen. Whoa! How'd these get there? 
It's occurred to me that bingo night or bridge night at the senior center will probably be D&D night when we get there. And now I'm ready to retire. Yes. Do you guys think it's possible for a fungus and an algae to on purpose kiss? Maybe they will take a liking to each other. <laughs> Tasks that take 15 minutes but three hours if you include the agonies. <laughs> this close to walking into mysterious fog and never coming back. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Bye, guys. Just kidding. I'll probably see you on Wednesday. Hey, guys. I'm back from the fog, and I brought tacos. Who's hungry? Hey, how do your belief systems even work? They're all true, especially the contradictory ones. They're double true. It's Asexual Awareness Week. I need all of you to be extra aware of me this week. Witness me. Oh, vampires can't walk into people's houses without being invited. Well, neither can I. It's road. I colon three my way into this, and I will colon three my way out of it. So help me God! Boo scoops. Reader be weeder. You're in for a skeeter. Do -do 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 -do. One time I dreamt I was talking to a bunch of people, and when I asked one girl for her name, everyone went really silent. Then she whipped out her phone and explained how she sold it online for bitcoins, like an NFT. Fairies are really keeping up with the times, I see. I'm like the Joker, in the sense that I tell jokes sometimes. Gotcha. Ariana Grande just brought back the black hoodie trend. Little Nas X just brought back digital watches. Okay, well, I just brought back my wife from the dead. Did, did she come back normal? Oh my god, you can't just ask someone if their wife came back normal. I'll take that as a no. Sadly pawing at the Discord app icon. The little gay people. They're all trapped in there. Let them out. Currently writing a comedy for a time-traveling organization, and my first thought was that the government outlawed time travel, but also funded the organization in order to fix the rampant time-traveling crime lords. The time-traveling organization has one member that actually follows regulations. The clothes maker. Ah, priorities. I hope every writer who sees this writes loads the next few months. Like free time opens up, no writer's block, the ability to focus, etc, etc. You're able to write loads and make lots of progress. Thank you, glitchy writer boy. I think people often underestimate the potential educational value of senseless memes. For example, thanks to Spider's George, literally every teenager on Tumblr has a reasonable grasp of what a statistical outlier is and the sorts of problems that outliers can introduce into a naive analysis. There are grown adults who don't get that. I deal with them on a daily basis. Memes have educational value is actually statistical error. Average memes teach zero facts. Spider's George is an outlier and should not be counted. Ah, now we're learning about irony and recursion. Good. Women are pretty. And men are nice too, I guess. <gasps> really? Tumblr, Grinder. Do the gays not like the letter E for some reason? Yeah, it's LGBT, not like bet. Today's genders are Long Furby. I released the frogs in the White House and now I'm wanted in 30 states. Eldritch Horror, the incarnation of chaos, and soup. <sighs> Finally, the incarnation of chaos, my gender. Do you think truckers realize that they're dentists out of highways? <sighs> Explain? No one likes semi-tractor trailers, 16-wheelers, no one likes being near them, and they terrify like 50% of the population. Just the idea of having to be in their vicinity fills people with dread even though what they do is essential in our lives. This is the first time I've seen this post with the explanation included. What the fuck? It's not a ship post! Oh no. I'm thinking... Again? Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, I'm back. Me every day, beginning a task. Agony, despair, woe, every moment on this wretched earth is filled with suffering, death, death, death! Ten minutes later. Man, I'm so glad I washed the dishes and I was so normal about it. Yes. Death, death, death! A hopeless romantic cowers before the infinitely more powerful, hopeful a romantic. I'm glad every incarnation of Gladian has kept the most important aspect of his character. Hmm. Arthritis. Ah, uh, so he is an artist.
Blorbo from my shows this, Blorbo from my video games that, what about Blorbo from my D&D game that only three other people know? Do you ever think about that? I do. So, uh, my clothing dye ate through my gloves. Plus three spellcasting, plus one summoning EFF 2x damage versus undead. A tattoo makes it more demonic than undead. So, you're now a necromancer, a beginner's guide. Man arrested for training dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. Well, there goes that idea. Let him throw bricks! Snow donuts are a phenomena which occur when the wind blows over a snowy layer of ground and other snow materials collected along the way until large rings or rolls are formed. It's lovely to know we live in a world with snow donuts. Snow nuts. You just hate the cis because of the things that they did. I hate the cis because it's led by the treacherous Count Dooku. And also by the fact that his name is Dooku. What kind of name is that? A chance we're in the evil dimension, guys. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. I'm going to nibble off your ligaments. They should let us download ibuprofen for free. Finally. E-ibuprofen. I miss them. Fictional character I think about literally every single day. Mm. Ooh, what a cool post my mutual just reblogged. I think I will reblog it as well. Ooh, who did they reblog it from? That username seems familiar. Oh, it's me. From an hour ago. Delightful. People born in 2010 are becoming teenagers next year. Excuse me! Last night I had a dream that there was a Tumblr update and the only thing it changed was that for two minutes straight you could sprinkle shredded cheese on other blogs and their posts and everyone's dashboards was just pandemonium as everyone cheesed each other. Two minutes of abominable amounts of shredded cheese raining from the dash. Tumblr at its finest. Get cheesed! Andy, have you been sprinkling cheese on this post the entire time I was talking? Autistic people of a particular flavor will master the art of expressing mundane sentiment in amusing ways because their most successful jokes as children were primarily accidental. And when you realize you have that spark of a weirdo and it's just a matter of intentionally and comic linguistic optimization to make yourself a regular sayer of things in funny ways. Maybe you're just high. I mean, it helps also, yeah. Can we go back to that first post though? Why is that me? I don't... I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's incredibly accurate. Project Runway, but it's for fursuits. I would watch the hell out of this show. Like, the, no, seriously, I would actually watch the crap out of that show. Have you seen some suits? Holy shit. I love stories where it's just one guy's really bad day. Same. My favorite thing in social media is spam posting one night, then disappearing for a week, then spam post again. Rinse and repeat. It's so mysterious. I'm like that mystery writer guy that shows up at a cafe every other week, and I look so cool and mysterious, but in reality, I'm posting pictures of cats on Tumblr. Before we go ahead, I apologize if I actually mispronounce this, because I have no idea. Absolutely not a new observation, but I love that Totoki Pono word for animal, Sueli, is written like this. Fuck, man, that sure is. I have less than 200 followers, and this guy, 80 notes in the span of hours. Bitches love animals. I mean, look at that guy. It's beautiful. Give him a little pat. Said with such intense auto-tune that I can barely be understood. <laughs> Just saw a post. Be careful out there. Hey girl, are you the devil? Because I want to kiss you under the pale moonlight. <laughs> Sir. If you're offline or away and I message you something like a link to a meme or a picture or whatever, honestly, just assume that I'm leaving it there for you when you get back and not expecting you to answer straight away. I don't need you to reply with, hey, sorry, I was away at the computer or anything. I was leaving you a gift for later. This also applies if you're online or just don't want to or have the energy to deal with humans in the moment. Just because we have the ability to reply in real time does not mean we have the obligation. Mario Kart's the closer to first place you are, the less useful power-ups you get system is an ideal model for how our economy should work. Whoa. I read this out loud to a boyfriend and he just went, Oh. That's fucking brilliant. Blue shell the 1%. Andy, throw it. Murkrow will now say a dirty word. Wiener. <gasps> how dirty. Butts even. <laughs> Why must I be thinking? I just want a brain to be empty for once. And full of many thoughts. Low concept science fiction. What if there was space? Fake, no there isn't. Why are you feeding the population lies? You're responsible for the downfall of society. Behold, Rudy time. I wish it was Rudy time all the time.
Look at that face. P.M. Seymour is like the Thomas Sanders back in the day. If you say their name, they'll just appear with half a burrito in hand like, What's up? Hey, yo, where's the other half of my burrito? Who did it? I'm body positive. I got the results back today, and they confirm I do have a body. My condolences. Finally finished teaching orangutans agriculture. Now I'm off to teach dolphins how to war. Ants already know both of those things. Who do you think taught me? Hey, why is it? Why is it a Dark Souls 2 boss? That's what you're questioning. Hey, do they have hummus in France? Um, France isn't real. Can't trick me. GTFO? Opie must have been down with the sickness when they wrote this. Charlotte, are you okay? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> God told me to embezzle these funds, guys. It's okay. It's okay. You know, reanimating corpses for use in battle is unethical. I am recycling. Well, now someone has to go and fight the corpses. I am also, consequently, creating jobs. You laugh, but some necromancer is out there setting up a PowerPoint presentation. Witnessed Crypt Rat from Old School RuneScape. You're telling me this guy's voicing Mario? It's a me, a Mario. Writing prompt. All your life, mythological beings have tried to pick you up. Childhood, forced adoption. Teenagehood slash adulthood, marriage. For example, Selkies purposely left their skins where you'd find them. Banshees serenade you outside every night. Now at 30, you've learned why you attract them all. What a thrilling life for me. Me, Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. This is partially fucked up. Probably bad RPG idea. The players are all told to create mid-level druids with animal companions. After creating their characters, have all of the druids be kidnapped and the players must rescue them as their animal companion. OP, change your URL! Do it! Oh, fuck. God damn it. I hate being the main character in a Snickers commercial. Stomping around grumbly furious and everything. Why on earth could this be happening? Remembers I haven't eaten all day. Ah, fuck. God damn it. I'm not, I'm not me. I'm not me when I'm hungry. <laughs> Eat a Snickers. Can you imagine these, this, like, in a persona saying, wouldn't that be hilarious? Like, you're not me! You're right, you know what, you're right. Here's a Snickers, you okay? My bad. What's that noise? Sounds like a graveyard smash. I'm going to check. <gasps> the monsters. I think they were. No. It couldn't be. Okay, but see, now that Halloween is over, now it's time to gather the masses. Not for another holiday, no. But for preparation for next Halloween. Gather, let's go. When you're tired on a public transit and start thinking, let me rest my eyes just a little bit. That's the devil talking. She is very persuasive. Where am I? This is a area. Fuck, dude, it sure is. There's a post going around about mixing NyQuil with five-hour energy, and I'm thinking about the time my parents were both out of town, and my brother was in charge of dropping me off at school. And I must have been, like, 15 or 16, and I was really miserably sick, so he gave me NyQuil, but by the time we were pulling up to the school, I was crashing, so his friend who was driving said, Yeah, I have a Red Bull in the glove compartment. Drink it. It'll, like, even it out. So I did, and I walked into school at 7.30 a.m., and then immediately the last bell rang and school was over. Potion seller, I'm going to school and I need your strongest disassociation. Mm. You can't handle my disassociation. Four word horror story. Furby pelt carpeted shower. Furby pelt carpeted toilet. Furby pelt carpeted septic tank. Happy Halloween, everybody. No, you fucking, you come back here and you answer for your crimes. Wait, holy shit. Is that pants? Me finally finding clothes in the soup store after years of searching. Wasn't this literally Jeremy at the hospital when he sees his dad? What are you two fucking talking about? This post is about Sonic the Hedgehog. I have several questions. Real horse facts. They call it a horse because that's what animal it is. Wow. Is three fingers too much? Not at all. Most people have ten. And if you thought of something else, you have to like, comment, and subscribe, you sinner. You know something? You disgust me. I know what people like you get up to, and I think it's disgusting. Please don't hesitate to tell me if I ever need to put a trigger content warning on any of my stuff. I'm not insensitive. I'm just stupid. Y'all like, I want to die like a broken record, but a bunch of clowns come over wanting to kill you, and you're all shitting your pants. Mm-mm-mm. Hypocrites you are. The day I let fucking Bozo stab me to death is the day I die, pal. Well, yeah, that's... 
kind of how like being stabbed to death works. Literally any continuity error that involves Spock can be explained away by the fact that he is a liar. I mean, Vulcans never lie. Never. Spock lied. People wanting Tumblr clout is so funny to me. Like, girl, you're fighting for a window seat in the clown car. Do you want that? Gaslight gatekeeper girl boss? That's a bit too complicated for me. Instead, consider my set of rules. Tax evasion. That's, that's it. That's my set of rules. Remember when Santa ran over grandma? It was like so messed up, right? Don't care, I didn't ask. Plus your wizard cap is cheaply made whilst mine is for fine silk. Coco, what do your cat eyes see? <sighs> Post email aftercare, like, that was a great email and you seem so normal. Have a cake, you deserved it. Supervillains that get all their supervillain accessories from Hot Topic, plus superheroes who also shop at Hot Topic and know full well that supervillain gets all their supervillain accessories from Hot Topic. Once again, and I reiterate, did you mean critically acclaimed masterpiece Megamind? And you put his picture up now? Thank you. There will be blood? Like, promise? It, yeah, man, we got blood every day over here. Sure do, but shoot. Men want me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Women want me. Men fear me. I don't associate with fish. Women want, men fear. I don't fish. Women fear me. Men fear me. I want fish. Men fear fish women. Me, me. Diversity win. Your friend survived a lab accident and is now something distinctly non-human. <laughs> Oopsies. She wouldn't stop biting me, so I got her this hat. You fool. You have only made her stronger. I feel like no one really wants to hear that sleep, exercise, nutrition, hydration are major factors in treating mental health issues because we've all talked to that one person who thinks their depression would be cured by one good session of goat yoga or whatever, but unfortunately they do help and I'm critically annoyed about it because why is it that just I'm sad because my brain is telling me to go drink water like the dumb fish I am? Oshnam, I have no bones. Is that a violation? Are you supposed to have bones? Probably. Being kissed wouldn't fix me, but it would be nice. True. The ram is wise. Would you like some of the ram's wisdom? Uh, yes, I would. Nougat is to sugar what bread is to flour. Uh, thanks, I hate it. You 102 delete this whack-ass Tumblr. You know, I wasn't gonna answer any more of your ass, but I fucking love the cadence and wording here. It's like you're a presidential candidate. Delete this whack-ass Tumblr now. Just delete this whack-ass Tumblr now. Mr. Gorbachev. Delete this whack-ass Tumblr. Hate having hyperfixation, and sometimes because I'll see someone being a bit hostile towards it, and I'll start to feel nauseous, and my heart is breaking at peace, and then dies a million deaths over and over for an extended period of time. Like that sad SpongeBob gif. Oh my god, somebody get so transsexual Sonic right now, please! I'm going to start using verbs and nouns that don't exist, and you can't stop me. Unless you have a grungler. But nobody else here has a grungler, so you still can't stop me. <laughs> Body parts that need regular moisturizing are literally so fucking stupid. Like, my brother in Christ, we're 60% water. I didn't have my bones for skeleton war. Whomever stole my bones, you suck! Who the fuck invented edible arrangements? Who got a flower arrangement and immediately was like, fuck this, I can't even eat it! First of all, ungrateful. Second of all, eat it, you coward. Where TF you paying 2k rent, Lamau? I'm not even making that much. <clears throat> Wait, why does it only have one head? Er, you fucking with me? <sighs> Caramel dancing turns 20 this year, and frankly, I am not prepared for that. Well, this post is now over a year old. Let's see how the notes are. What the fuck? He's your emotional support, Blarbo? Girl, he can't even emotionally support himself. Hey, hey! Leave Scaramouche out of this! I do not have commitment issues. I'll have you know I've committed three whole crimes just this morning. Reasons why I don't like starting conversations first. I feel annoying. I feel like you might not want to talk. I feel unwanted when you don't reply. And it normally turns awkward and fades out. However, if you talk to me first and make attempts to keep conversation going, you are a holy being in my mind. I have never had anything be more accurate in my life. I think mean, take a hike is like the funniest response to someone. Like, dude, just get out of here and go out, go experience the wonder of nature for a bit. The ancestral form of touch grass. 
I noticed my coworker was on Tumblr, so I told them, I like your shoelaces. And they said, never say that out loud to me. This is the correct response, by the way. Life hacks. Need to clean your house? Get a new cat. The sound of it chewing on random debris will provide constant motivation to clean and reorganize your space. Life hacks. Behold, the cosmic current. It looks like sugar. I'm a lick it. Don't do it! Today I learned a philosophy riddle from 1688 was recently solved. If a man born blind can feel the differences between shapes such as spheres and cubes, could he, if given the ability, distinguish those objects by sight alone? In 2003, five people had their sight restored through surgery and no, they could not. I love when apparently deep questions turn out to have a clear empirical answer. It's great, right? The peak of Sonic characterization is a perfect balance between two facts. One, Sonic is the chosen hero of Mobius, the harbinger of chaos, the wielder of the power of gods, fated to fight the forces of evil since the day he was born. And two, Sonic is just some guy who showed up one day. He just showed up and the powers that be picked him up by the scruff of his neck and went, This one, he's funny. I'll give you two prime examples of the situation. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Sonic and Shadow are two people that were under the same prophecy. Sonic was actually chosen by fate under that prophecy, and Shadow was created by the people who saw that prophecy and were like, I bet I could make that. Okay, Robotnik's grandfather. And then the other example, Sonic and the Black Knight. Merlin just needed some help in a crisis, and the first person she summoned into existence, it, it was Sonic. He just shows up. It's great. Here's a hot freaking take, guys, but nobody gets to tell anybody else how they experience themselves. Somebody has a gender you don't understand? Well, fucking tough. That's how stuff works sometimes. I don't understand French, but the language still exists. This is quite possibly the best thing I've read all year. I'm going to start slapping bigots in the face with this. Hey, do you know why mages sometimes get knives in RPGs? It's for their special trick, Abracastabia. Why do they sometimes get whips then? Their second spell. Alakrixam! Well, what do mages learn when they get a gun? Gun. Andy, if you can get Amy to voice that, would be ideal. If not, totally fine. These are officially the ugliest fucking sneakers I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Wear these and you'll never be late for elf practice again. Why weren't you at elf practice? Someone stole my Yeezys! Day one of the time loop. 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 You're laughing. OP is stuck in a time loop and you're laughing! Tonight we're drinking from the pond! God? Yeah. yeah, yeah. List of gender neutral terms for your non binary siblings. Number one. Fucking loser! How fucking dare you, wizard email? Andy, vaporize that wizard! Fire the laser! People who don't wear glasses don't get the added benefit of taking off your HD eyesight for a while. Just fuck it, I'm done. 2040p vision time. I've seen enough. Lower the quality. You know what? Fuck you. Un-PM's your Seymour. Well, shit. I'm just Seymour. <laughs> Well, that was a terrible mistake you made. L plus ratio plus I'm a better clown than you plus your jest is weak! Tumblr's just talking to yourself before an audience. Yeah, that's called a soliloquy. Found the theater kid. Get him, boys. How do you know what a soliloquy is unless you're a theater kid, OP? Oh, shit, no! When the restaurant gives you a freebie, but you can't eat it, so you have to give it to the neighbors. <sighs> Free garlic. Just celiac things. Sad ace noises. Also vampire problems. Some of you are miserable because you're mean. Like you're just mean to people and things. Why don't I have any friends? Because you're mean. This can be fixed in part very easily though. Just stop being mean. I believe in all of you. You got it. Compels you to experience emotions which you lack the vocabulary to describe. Oh god, this is so... Well, I can't say. I still don't understand people find it weird to bag milk. I don't want a career. I want to do crafts. I want to make origami. What if I changed my icon? <laughs> Not too drastic.
So I've been reblogged by PM Seymour twice now, but eh, still haven't seen any of my delicious puns in a video. I'm not shy. I have a well-nurtured god complex. I don't fear the notes, so why? Why deprive the world of my genius? All right, so you're shy. Give me a pun right now. Okay, proper puns. The expectations are high. <clears throat> well, while some may see it as a punishment, I'm excited to say more of uh, this development. As always, I'll be ready for your next query. <sighs> I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. Steve from Blue's Clues holds the honor and bears the curse of being many, many young children's first parasocial relationship. Oh my god. It all makes sense now. I did it! I read 200 pages in three hours. I was very behind. It's 12 a.m. <laughs> Bees. Bees? Bees! 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 Best type of character causes at least 50% of their own problems and then cries about it. Oh, baby girl, please. Step one, we recommend you to be two people for easier assembly. On it, boss. Step one, mitosis. So tired of people acting like fat men aren't attractive. It's scientifically wrong. Fat men are a gift to society, and I need y'all to start acting like it. Just do it. What happened to the skeleton war? You guys used to love the skeleton war. It's because we've been fighting it for so long. We don't remember what we're fighting it for. Sad, yeah. Apparently I'm in a PM Seymour video? Which one? This one! Apollo, kill me now! <laughs> you gotta admit, that one's pretty good. Watching a Marvel movie is like eating a perfectly acceptable hand sandwich, but then when you finish it, a slice of tomato walks through the door and the music swells dramatically. Why does that work so well? Nothing scares me more than knowing my posts show up in people's based on your likes shit. Please, I'm so scared. Don't bring me to the ocean surface. I'll depressurize and start oozing. Behold, Peachy Siana, where's fucking Mario and Luigi? Who's Mario? I know Luigi, but like, Mario? Is that like a Luigi OC? No, they mean that guy from Marvel, Crypt Rat or something, I don't know. Okay, you know sometimes fans add a sibling or family member, but it's actually a self-insert? Breaking news! I just learned about a bird species called Golden Plover. Their chicks have an amazing camouflage. Their baby fluff resembles moss. Look at them. Just look at them. Oh, to be a tiny golden plover lying in the moss safe and sound waiting for your mom to bring you some worms. Okay, you see right there, right there? That's a Pokemon. Reblog to give the person you reblog it from the energy to do one chore. Or maybe many. Well, now it's in a video that I just give this person so much energy, they're literally a god. Your Honor, permission to be a little shilly? Hmm, granted. Reverse isekai, but instead of fantasy characters being transported to a modern world, they're transported to the Wild West. I call it re-intonation. Fucking give me this show, goddammit. Bucky, how many Twitter babies are gonna grovel and plead for help? I am Tumblr's first line of defense between Twitter users and aged Tumblr users. Dare I release the floodgates on you? God bless you, Bucky. Hold the door. One of my favorite stupid tropes is X is literally a ridiculous number of Y in a trench coat. Like, sure, this one guy has been looking shady is really just 235 sewer rats in a trench coat. Why not? That's hilarious. Do you guys remember when Bojack actually had the, the three kids in the trench coat and, like, we never actually got the conclusion that they were busted on it, they just rolled with it for the entire season. <laughs> okay, fuck it. If this post reached 666,000 notes by the end of 2023, I'll practice basic self-care. Why 666,000? Because it's funny and impossible, so good fucking luck. Sure about that, punk? Bing. Mom, come see a puppy. He's looking for you inside when he couldn't see you. Oh my god! Fucking emergency! I gotta go, guys! Bye! They should invent a spine without pain. Probably also knees. Maybe feet if we're getting fancy. I'm only asking for so much. There should be a social media site. Ted, just kidding. There should never be one of those. Never. Y'all been calling her brisket so much that Bridget has legitimately started to read as incorrect to me. And frankly, this is not a tenable state of affairs. Bisquick is my favorite character in Guilty Gear Strive. Don't you mean Guilty Gear Striv? I wish Genshin gave you the option to replay story quests, because God, I want to do Liyue again. Seriously. 
not to bash the game, Li Wei is like one of the best parts about Genshin. Sumer is great. Sumer is great. But Li Wei, chef's kiss. Hey, ever think about us being more than friends? <gasps> yes! I can totally see us as dragons. Here, let me find the designs I drew. I don't understand, Sonic. Why didn't he just use his skills of being fast to hurt Eggman until he dies? Hedgehogs have no understanding of the concept of death, so the thought of killing Eggman never occurs to him. Catholic guilt. Guys, at my university, I have a part-time job where my sole responsibility is filling up the piano humidification systems with water. I literally am the piano waterer, and to be honest, I kind of feel like I'm thriving. I feel like I need to add that I carry around this water jug that kind of looks like a regular watering can, and when people ask me what I'm doing, I just say, watering the pianos, and walk away. This is probably a symptom of something, but I'm just going to call it a Kenny moment. Just saying. So much of what is cringe is just earnest. What if you made an honest expression of genuine human emotion and someone saw it? Cringe. An infinite number of $1 bills and an infinite number of $20 bills would be worth the same. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Takes I am a snom. <laughs> My mission to steal all snobs continues. Hang on. Ah, here, here it is. Hey, yo, who's stealing my sons? I love thinking that I'm okay, but then look at my D&D &D characters and realize I am definitely not. Not even close. Normalize not knowing anything about yourself. Like, who's that guy, lol? I did this today. I had a new coworker join my team, and it came time for my introduction. I was like, I watch movies and play video games. And apparently absolutely fucking nothing else of note. Welcome to the team. Yeah, I love it when pathetic podcast men panic breath into my ears. It's good shit. Writing prompt. Among the ranks of the knights, you are considered unstoppable, unbeatable, the greatest warrior to have ever lived. Your secret is that you have a unique weapon, one forged to send hails of burning lead at your foes. It's a shotgun. You carry a shotgun. Isn't this like an Evil Dead movie? And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is an Evil Dead movie. Stupid, huh, Mom? Gender is not a performance. It is a competition. And I am ranking 7,570,694,201st internationally. Help! Here's a little help from someone ranked 6,151,319,272nd. Just fuck around and find out. The other judges seem to like the strange genders. Other players don't, but they're just jealous they're extra standard. Just saying. I want a shirt that has a QR code on it for some kind of horrible malware so that if anyone ever tries to film me on public, their phone will automatically scan the code and be reduced to a functionless brick. That's fucking evil. I love it. When do I feel like I'm getting told that I have a bad grade in a class when I do the depression and anxiety screening ratings with my therapist? <sighs> Gender, but the G is pronounced like the G in God. <clears throat> Gender. Nope, not screaming this time. Sorry. Part of the new internet grammar, using question marks not to denote questions, but upturns in voice, so that a tentative statement gets a question mark, but a flatly delivered question doesn't. Why would you do this? It just seems right. Imagine if movies and TV shows have mod communities like video games do. Seinfeld Big Titty Mod. Frasier Anime Girl Race Mod. Unofficial B-Movie Patch. Friends without Ross Mod. I don't know how you people with 100k notes post even function like I can barely handle in my 30-ish notes post break containment. We don't. You just grow numb over time like soldiers in a trench no longer flinching at the sound of rifles. Behold, albino raccoon. Quick, spot the main character! You know, it's so weird how much of a raccoon's raccoonness is tied up in its pattern. This looks like a completely different animal. Like some sort of weird marsupial. It looks like a glammed up possum. Told my parents I miss archaeology and my mom was very sympathetically like, Do you want to go dig holes in the garden? And I was like, Yeah, I want to dig holes in the garden. My wife reading this to me out loud. It's your people! Do you want me to break a clay pot for you to put back together? Me burying my face in my hands. Maybe. 
These are both moods, but unfortunately, I am primarily a bioarchaeologist. I, I specialize with digging up old human skeletons, and, uh, homemade bioarchaeology is tragically discriminated against by law enforcement. Only if you get caught. I'm pretty sure I did that one, but I like the additional part at the end, so bear with me. I'm seeing activity from blogs that have not posted in years. It's like watching permafrost melt, observing you all in my petri dish. The frogs are emerging from the slumber. Ancient viruses are emerging from the polar ice caps melting. Choose your vibe. I like how everyone's always like, oh, don't steal immortality from the gods. Oh, don't steal knowledge from the gods. Wah, wah. Don't steal golden fruits. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm all like stealing from the gods like a boss. Whatevs, man, I'll bring fire to the motors. I don't give a shit. Watch me. Prometheus after joining Tumblr. What is this cotton ball doing outside? Uh, this is where the moon goes when it's set. Mind your business. Look at that baby. Precious. Alpha males and alpha software are very similar. Both generally unstable and lacking in quality. Oh shit. One day in an action movie, I want to see a chase scene that ends with an unexpectedly sturdy fruit stand that just fucking totals both cars. One day we'll get its revenge. The cabbage guy from Avatar The Last Airbender wrote this. It's what he deserves! I'm in a constant battle between I am immortal, completely so, indestructible, nothing could hurt me, everything fears me. And if I keep existing, I'm going to die. Leaving the house is dangerous. Staying home is dangerous. Breathing's dangerous. God, why? My mom's cats. They're brothers. <sighs> Synchronized catting. This is called mirroring. Cats do this with each other and humans as a way of being social. <gasps> it's a copycat. Writing prompt. A magic experiment has gone wrong, and now your hair changes colors based on your emotions. This has created all sorts of awkward situations, as people can read you like a book. It sounds like that character from the hit Hatsune Miku series, uh, Hair or Pobbles. That's the one. Me gently putting my consciousness back in my body. Shh, please keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. See, I can sing the references when I need to. Just shittily. Wow, hello, you were like 90% of my For You post, thanks. I'm sorry to hear that. Here's a sea slug for your trouble. <sighs> I wanna touch it. I only post my content because I'm too incompetent to find the juicy posts. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Where can I find those? You gotta dig for them, V. You gotta dig for them. Or you know, just set up a Discord or they send it to you. My favorite character from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> this is the kind of shit future humans will have to take a whole ass degree for just to understand us. I can't wait to see it. The best way to end a love triangle plot line is with polyamory. Why? Why is this right? I don't. Uh, why is this right? The only reason I'm still on this godforsaken website is because God is blind to my existence, and if I commit enough sinful atrocities within the hell on earth, then maybe he'll finally see me, but as a threat against his very existence. All right, grape, calm the fuck down. Oh, oh shit, it's, it's a thirst trip. trip! Or something, I don't know, I'm asexual. Ugh, here comes Brad from my work. Wait, which one is he again? You know, that guy that says things and you can never tell if it's a compliment or insult? Well, 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 someone smells like muffin mix. Unintellectual property. Really dumb, but it's mine. Would a necromancer be able to reanimate food? Is there anything stopping a necromancer from making an army of cooked turkeys? Only one way to find out. Sorry for having great tits and correct opinions and everything, as if it's my fault. God. Translate. I'd like to think I'm transpunctual, thank you. See, this is what I mean. He's obviously a dad. No normal person could just make a joke like that. Are you suggesting I'm... Transparent? Dang, damn it, yes I am! 80% of the ocean has not yet been explored. There could be a Dollar General down there. New D&D campaign just dropped. Find the forbidden Dollar General. If you can't handle me at my worst, just remember that I handle me at my worst, and that makes me stronger than you. Oh my goodness, this makes me feel powerful. I haven't even thought of it like this. I'm gonna remove my nervous system so I won't be nervous anymore. Can't believe what a good idea this is. Why did no one else do this? Should someone tell them? He's got a sadness about him. You only see in Catholic stained glass windows. Hmm. The cool thing about Acebeck Rep is there's a loophole. 
that every character is a spec until proven otherwise. Heck, maybe even after proven otherwise, depending on how proven it is, a spec is a spectrum. And I'm gonna squeeze everybody I can into it because the writer sure as heck won't do it for me. Would you like fries with that burger? <laughs> Some fucking French fries? You know? The human eye has evolved to be able to detect more shades of green than any other color. And that's because there are so many fucking leaves. And also because we were preparing for Shrek's arrival. <clears throat> Some. Some. You know, I miss it when movies let you figure out shit on your own without excessive exposition. Like, for example, in Ocean's Eleven, they don't tell you that guys are gay. They just let you figure it out. Someone mentions my favorite character. Me vibrating at frequency that shatters glass. Yeah, I love them normal amount. Don't call me out like this. Sorry, I thought your boyfriend was cute, so I had him undergo metamorphosis. Congratulations on your new girlfriend, by the way. <laughs> gender envy this, gender envy that. Sir, that man is a senior citizen. I don't plan on being 19 to 24 forever. Gender investment? Gender compounding interest. Gender dividends. Ah, gender retirement plan. Body Behold, the Virgin Islands Dwarf Gecko. It is one of the smallest terrestrial vertebrates. Blessed Gecko. He's got bones in there. Ugh, 80% of the ocean is unexplored by you guys. I've seen the whole thing. I'm scarred for life. It's psychological horror to you. To me, it's a rom-com. That's a fun way of looking at things like Freddy vs. Jason. Hey, bad news, I tucked your boyfriend in so warm and cozy he's snoring like a cartoon mouse. Yeah, it sounds like... <laughs> yeah, there's a little feather floating over his mouth, too. Sorry. I have three modes of reading. Don't read, read a 500-page book in a day, and read only fan fiction until my eyeballs drop out of my skull from exhaustion. Hate it. Two arrows platonically married for financial reasons. Call that friends with tax benefits. Whenever I see a bunch of posts about one piece of media on my dash, I know one of my mutuals just got a new obsession. If you're reading this, I hope you realize this is about you, but also that I mean no harm. Simply noticing a pattern and putting barely any more thought into it beyond that. Seriously. Fuck being in a BMC more video. I want to be in an AMC more video where it's the most relaxing female voice ever. Unfortunately, AMC more is kind of already a thing that exists, and it's that it's this guy. This little black goopy friend right here? Yeah, that, that's him. But if you wanted a female voice to read this to you in a relaxing tone, all you need to do is just ask. <laughs> Writing prompt. They say you can sneak almost anywhere openly if you wear a safety vest and carry a ladder. A group of heroes trying to infiltrate the Demon King's castle end up using that trick. <sighs> That down. You know, the key to getting over imposter syndrome is to know everyone else is an imposter too. Tell yourself you deserve a stake in the claim they're all running. Um, excuse me, but this is fucking brilliant. Did, did you just cure imposter syndrome with spite? You can cure a lot with spite. I accidentally submitted my English paper with the title, I pissed on the moon. It's too late to take it back. Whenever anyone compliments my name, I have to stop myself from saying, thanks, I chose it myself. What if you did, though? Does anyone else occasionally come across blogs in your dash that you 100% do not remember following? Yes, what the fuck? One does not remember time itself, for it has become a part of everyday life. And yet you still startle when you see me on your dash like a stranger in the mist. Fool. Do the dead forget life? Did you forget whose follow you laid at my feet like an offering to a false god? It was yours. Do not feign ignorance. It was Star Wars smut. You okay, SpongeBob? I'm not fucking playing with you, you son of a bitch! Hey, Neil Gaiman, what's your opinion on spoons? They are much better than forks for drinking soup with. Thanks, Neil Gaiman. We drink boba tea to satisfy our ancient and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do fucking not. Ugh, it's always you murdered your husband for this fortune in his land, and you're a monster, and never your black silk morning gown looks nice, or was the poisoning fun? It looked like fun. God. Drink my concoction, boy. Drink my boy concoction. T testosterone And if you thought of something else, <laughs> you gotta like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules, dirty boy.
Sometimes I forget there's straight people on here. There's what? Straight people are just old wives' tale made up to scare children! No, I swear, I've seen them myself! In the fog! Reject edgy rogues with dead parents. Embrace goofy, chaotic, neutral greaseballs that slink around and steal things for fun. Their tragic backstory is just being a little shit. Have you or a horse you love been injured in a Plinko-related accident? You may be entitled to compensation. Call now, 1-888-435-6377. Now this is advertising. Okay, has anyone called that number? I did. It's the Elmer's Glue customer service line. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! See spoiler about character death. Uh, okay, but maybe... Maybe that will happen when I watch it. Maybe. Please. So someone just said they're really interested in history. How careful do you have to be? I just think history is interesting in general. I'm not interested in any specific part of it. This person is most likely safe. Never drop your guard, though. I'm interested in this specific subject or time period in history. The ancient Egypt, the golden age of piracy, the history of printing press. Still probably safe. Be on the lookout for certain risky historical subjects. You should know them when you see them. I'm really into WW2 history. This is a caution zone. There's plenty of valid reasons to be into WW2, but if they start talking about how Operation Sea Lion could have succeeded, it's time to abort. I'm specifically into Roman history, the Crusades, Prussian military history, and WW2. Danger! Do not talk about history with this person. In fact, do not talk to this person at all. You will regret it. You do not want to know what they think of the Treaty of Versailles and why Germany lost the First World War. I was really into ancient Greek mythology in middle school. This person is gay. Slash affectionate. Airplane crashed into a cemetery. Rescuers have already pulled 10,000 dead bodies from the wreckage and are still pulling out more. I'm so confused. Where will they bury the survivors? Well, I heard Twitter HQ has quite a lot of space nowadays. Okay, Jeff just hit us with the one-two hit combo. Interviewer, Mr. Wayne, have you heard about the popular internet jokes about you dating Batman? Yes, I have heard of them, but if I were going to date any superhero, it'd be Superman and not an overdramatic furry. Clark Kent suddenly there, breathless. M Mr. Wayne, could you elaborate on your desire to date Superman? Okay, but Batman calling himself an overdramatic furry is the exact kind of Bruce Wayne characterization directors have been too cowardly to do. Asian grass lizards are so silly. What do you need all that for? Whipping. Hey, call your homie a cutie patootie. Trust me, he needs it. God's greatest punishment was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth and no one with eyes big enough to see them all. God's greatest gift was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth so that we may never run dry of the joy of seeing a cool rock. I've been such a fool. Guilty Gear Strive fans adore the new Twink DLC character, Sinkisk. Putting the word Twink up on the shelf. Yeah, Guilty Gear fans are just the opposite of Genshin Impact fans because they'll call a guy a twink for being the size of an SUV instead of an 18-wheeler. Why is that incredibly accurate? I plead oopsie-daisies, Your Honor. I made a fucky-wucky. Whatever doesn't kill you, you begin to like it. Um, wasabi doesn't kill me, I still don't like it. Imagine if, instead of it being called a sip, it was called a suck. Can I have a suck of water? Imagine an expensive grave spanning miles and miles, too many miles for you to traverse. Imagine a little mouse sleeping in his bed as a can of sardines and he wears a little hat. And what is his pillow and blanket? Just a regular pillow and blanket, but like, so small sized for meese. Now imagine, if you will, this mouse awakening, stirring, noticing no glass at his bedside table, throwing off his small meese sized blanket, lighting a candle, and trudging dozily to his mouse kitchen for a suck of water. She dicked cockily downstairs. All right, that's it. You ruined it. It's over. Okay, we're done. We're done. Andy, end the video in the dumbest way possible. So I didn't really know how to end this. So I guess it's a good job that I happened to voice G in uh, the Cosmic Wonder series. So here we fucking go. Rawr. X3 nozzles pounces on you. Ooh, you're so warm. Couldn't help but notice your powerful ones from across the floor. Nozzles and wuzzles your necky wecky tildy mutildy he. Unzips your tumbly wumbly. Oof, baby, it's so cringy. See me wag my whittle, baby tail. And that's all I'm getting. I'm out. Hello, everyone. This is Snom. It has been two years since I was first in one of PM's videos. Truly, it is an honor. But enough of that. I'm here to say that I'm so happy to have been able to bring some smiles to your faces. 
and that if it hadn't been for PM, I might have never been able to help so many others. I hope that eventually I can help more. This is kind of getting along, so I'll leave you with this. You're amazing, you're capable, and I believe in you. Enjoy the video, bye! Is that okay or too long? Should I change it some? No, this is perfect, thank you. Me when my friends are around my family. Yeah, no swearing in my Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> Tumblr will always be a better website than Twitter because you can only retweet a tweet once. Whereas on this website, if I really like a post, I can make my followers scroll past it 12 times in a row. I'm getting the same vibes as uh, Eniku, if that's how you say their name, when they have the Gohan corn shirt on their feet literally every time they see it. The brain is an organ. Mental illnesses are illnesses of that organ. Brain scan shows that there's a physical difference between a healthy brain and a sick brain. Telling someone, you're not really sick, it's all in your head, is like telling someone with asthma, it's not real, it's all in your lungs. The brain is an organ that can malfunction as much as any other organ. Please read this over and over and over and over. I don't know about anyone else, but I absolutely cannot write in a linear fashion. I have probably completed NaNoWriMo this year, but because I've been working on books four, five, and seven, while book one is still only one page long, I have nothing I can really show for it because it spoils things. Wow, it's not just me. Okay. Damn, girl, the power of love and friendship aren't working. Hmm. Time to kill someone or whatever. Elon Musk lands on Mars and steps out of his spaceship. It's a small step for men, but a giant leap for mankind, says the ground control officer and cuts off all communications. Jeff, this is not a bad joke. Jeff, this is not a joke. It's a prophecy. I am convinced the only reason people work for SpaceX is to make this prophecy a reality. <sighs> like the charge, we blocked the cast. I can fix him, bitch. You're worse. Don't like it? Become God. Maybe I will. I am a Borbo apologist, but also they did every bad thing they did, and I will get mad if you ignore that. Complexities. Please hate my favorite fictional character accurately, at least. Not a single recipe on Earth is honest about how long it takes to caramelize onions. Recipes shouldn't even estimate how long it'll take. It should just say, caramelize onions. God help you, you're now on onion time! <sighs> Men just don't get into a big cloud of dust and start punching and kicking each other with only their arms and legs briefly visible like they used to. Sag. I, I put Gay Loser into one of those AI image generator prompts, and the webpage requested access to my laptop camera. <laughs> I don't even interpret UWU as a smiley. I just read it as, ooh -woo. Do you know how many times I had to redo this line because I wanted to say uwu twice instead of U W U? You know, God fucked up making Komodo dragons super venomous, aggressive, and all around unsuitable for domestication. Those beefs should be in our home. If I had this thing in my lap, I think everything would be all right. I bet it would love being scratched on the head if it wasn't already so fond of chewing me and then poisoning me and smacking me hard with its horrible tail. Thyrell, I don't want to tell you this, but I don't think you're ready to own a Pokemon yet either, because I'm pretty sure they can all do the same thing. They all can learn Toxic. Just went to Wawa and all they had were burritos, so I got a fucking Wawa burrito because I'm starving. I'll reblog this with a rating from 1 to 10. 1 being nasty-ass Wawa burrito, and 10 being banger Wawa burrito. Unlikely. THREE! I saw the three and presumed you were counting down to some major event in world history when I realized it was the rating of your Wawa burrito. No, but if I was counting down, it would be the seconds before I throw this nasty-ass Wawa burrito into the garbage. I got cursed with the worst version of being a bookworm. <laughs> being a fanfic reader. Damn, man, I'm so hungry. <sighs> so, uh, how hungry? You know, this is a difficult question for both of us, Humphrey. <sighs> oh, no. Somebody got Hoofrey! At 8.30 precisely, the frogs beyond the hills scream. I didn't mean to make it sound so ominous. I meant literally at 8.30 every day from spring to autumn. Frogs in the woods over yonder hills will yell in unison, usually for about 20 to 30 minutes. That really didn't make it less ominous. Have you taken a hot air balloon ride in the past week? No? Yes? Prefer not to answer. It's a sensitive issue. I invent a time machine to go back in time specifically to eat the Mona Lisa and perfect NFTs from being invented. 
I also grab a few of those bluebirds from the Rio movie, and then go slap the nearest Catholic in the face with a sticky hand. Tumblr things. Goth girls and pink Barbie girls aren't enemies, you fools. They're girlfriends. Someone does something even slightly sexy, and my entire body becomes incredibly stiff like plywood while I make the noise spring door stoppers make. I actually don't remember how that sound goes. Andy, help me. Ah, <laughs> uh, shout out to whoever stole my Amazon package containing nothing but a single pair of shoelaces. <gasps> so sorry to hear about that, Mr. President. I want a book where the villain gets the girl. I am so sick of people being like, I wish there was a story where insert something that definitely already happened in Megamind. For real. Go watch it. What is it about this movie? What? Why? Why? Why didn't you watch it? Why didn't you watch it? It's because he's blue? Because he got a big head? This guy? Jonah Hill being a nice guy? What? 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 That, I'm, I'm, I'm actually mad. I'm actually mad. Go watch it. Bro, why can't people who aren't my friends know my characters from my work in progress? Ugh, shaking my head. It's unfair. Just know them. God! Behold, skeleton of cave bear and bear's cave Romania. I wonder why it's called that. You know, this sent me down a massive historical rabbit hole. But long story short... It's called Romania because there were once Romans there. Wow. Whenever I do something bad, I just say, But I had to! In a fancy James Bond voice, and I feel all better about myself. Perceive mugshot of two-year-old Francois Bertolan, arrested for eating a basket of pears. Yeah, who the fuck arrested a two-year-old? Well, police officer was like, You're coming with me, son! Was it your vert? I bet it was your vert. So, actually, these photos were taken by the kid's uncle, Alphonse Pertolan, who is a French police officer and inventor of the mugshot. These photos were taken as a joke, probably when Bertolan was developing his mugshot technique and needed someone to practice on. No actual two-year-olds were arrested in the creation of these photos, guys. <laughs> like, 1880s nostalgia, with a pic from 1993. Yes, of course. You know, there was also an 1893. All right. <sighs> to people somehow misreading 1800s nostalgia as 1880s, to this person thinking a fucking daguerreotype was taken in the 1990s, this whole thread was a ride I didn't expect to take today. Get me the fuck off it. Hey, one sec, I need to go hyperfixate on a niche game that feels like only 10 other people know about. Bye. Okay, I'm back. If you think about it, technically an airplane can only fly when there is human blood inside of it. These are the bold, disturbing takes I came to Tumblr for. Oh. Oh, gods! Almost everyone from Twitter is stopping by Tumblr. Say hello to the new inhabitants. We should give them a nice reception. Don't hold back. Should, should I be afraid? Get him, boys! You will never take me alive! Executive dysfunction is basically going, okay, one, two, three, go. And now. And we're going now for like three hours before the thing happens. If the singular form of mice is mouse, shouldn't the singular of lice be louse? Aw, oh, man, I have like the best news for you, my friend. G gender rules? I open my hand confused and reveal a fistful of D&D &D dice. Which, which one do I? Oh, God, what's my gender modifier? Ah, you get it. Tumblr is a game. And I'm winning. I don't know, I think the reason you're winning is because based on those little blue important sticker points, you're paying to win. I just found out my entire personality is a trauma response. <laughs> when the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's some more follow X. Roofs look unbelievably stupid typed out. Why can't we just say roofs? Clown language with clown plurals. If the plural of roof were roofs, the singular of grooves would have to be groof. Is that what you want? Point taken. I'll do anything to avoid groof. Break a leg. Vague, unclear whose leg you should break. Encouraging somehow, kind of violent. Break their legs. Clearer. Other people's legs should be broken. More legs, more encouraging, logically. And very violent, which is a positive. I am made of the world's best mint chocolate chip ice cream. Until you realize I am freezer burnt. It's so cold inside my room. I wish my mom had a sense of humor. I pointed to batteries in a Bucky's and said, that was my snack, and she didn't laugh.
The custody battle doesn't help either. Well, Lizard Kid, I'm here to help you out with your joke, all right? <clears throat> Hear me out on this. The next time you're at Bucky's, you look at the D-sized batteries and says, Hey, Ma. <laughs> hey, Ma. <laughs> you want to win the custody batteries? <laughs> Soon may the Wellerman come. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. I have questions. To get to the other side. Duh. Every time someone asks for a new feature on Tumblr, we delete an already present feature. <laughs> Eggman is literally richer than Elon Musk. And less problematic. And more attractive. Sexier as well. Got emeralds in a more ethical manner, too. Logical brain. You have chores to do. Do your chores. Stupid brain. Thinks about Gladys doing domestic things. Glad is sweeping a test chamber with just a normal broom and a massive robot claw. No one fucking helps me in this house. Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend clearly has never met ibuprofen. Yes, I am aware he has committed atrocities, but have you considered that he's my special little guy? <laughs> he's my meow meow. Shout out to everyone who's just so tired, so, so exhausted, so very, very tired, so very fatigued, so sleepy and tired, so... Holy shit, is that iconic artist Shubabay? Buddy! The moon is insane. Like, there's a rock up there. I've got great news for you. There's more rocks. But I don't know if you knew this. There's someone special on that moon. And he's zooming really closely. Why did you leave this in the tags? So you could screenshot it and add it to the post as a reblog, my friend. You're welcome. Joy Young, how do I learn as much things as you have? Learn three things and you're set. You know what? It's fair you don't think birds are real. We think you humans are government drones. I mean, look how you run politics. <laughs> is he flirting or is he just looking in my general direction? <laughs> I can't tell. The orcs and the elves team up together after years of warm bloodshed to make fun of your stupid shirt. Stupid, ugly shirt. It's a Homestuck shirt. The orcs and elves may finally find peace. Damn. Listen, okay? J just hear me out. Giant volcano monster. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm not finished. Listen. Giant volcano monster with eight eyes and six arms. You, you still not convinced? Don't convince? All right. All right. Giant naked volcano monster lady with flowing lava hair and a giant flaming sword. Have I got you convinced now? I right, good. Stinkoscope. Why, hello, P. I happen to be searching the tag of my name across our Tumblr and came across this old post which happened to exist before my own account, which is quite incredible. I made you. <sighs> There's gonna be a scene in the Super Mario Brothers movie where the Toads are in one place and they're all like, Hey Toad! What's up Toad? Looking great Toad! Thanks Toad! Oh Toad! They are all named Toad. By greed, would you rather have a boyfriend or a girlfriend? I know it's an outdated practice, but I believe on a genuine level that electroshock therapy could fix me. That, that, that was supposed to be original post. I didn't mean to respond to that ask with that. I clicked on the wrong tab. I'm sorry. Strive this, betterment that. We all know the universal drive of humanity. Spite. Um, it's not an abandoned work in progress. I didn't intentionally leave it in the forest to die and forget about it. It is a lost whip who wandered into the forest despite my pleas not to. I sit at the edge of the forest every day and hear it calling for help, but there is nothing I can do. It is a haunting whip. Whip that died and came back wrong. It's quick, it's easy, and it's free. Pouring river water in your socks. Well, why would I do that? It's quick, it's easy, and it's free. Thank you, official United States Tumblr. When you hold your favorite rock. Hey, do you all know that otters hold their special rock under their armpits when not in use? And when in use, they're used to open shells for food? Their rock is so important to them that it's passed on from generation to generation. That really is his favorite rock. I hope you all find someone that loves you as much as that otter loves his rock. Hello? I'm looking for a little idiot to kill. I don't think killing your followers makes for good publicity. Clearly you don't know what people want, shorty. People with Ralsei icons are just like so inherently trustworthy. They're so sweet and nice and magical, just like him, and I want to be their friends. What's your credit card number? Hey, staff. Staff. Let us buy someone else a verification. Let me inflict that on a person. Please. Heartbreaking. 
poor girl has to get out of the soft, warm bed, even though she is so, 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 so comfy. What a horrible way to stop thing. My pet lit match and my pet puddle of gas did not get along. They're just playing. Don't worry about it. My soul is dark because my body doesn't have lights in it. If you used a flashlight, it would show that my soul is a bowl of freshwater shrimp. You mean to tell me these shrimp run that body? Anyone else ever daydream for six hours straight and then after you're just like, nah, let's scrap that and do it all again, but like slightly to the left? My brain. <laughs> Was that good? Me in a beret, taking a long draft from a cigarette and leaning back in my director's chair. Hmm, once again, from the top, this time with feeling. <laughs> I'm not a girl, I'm not a boy. I'm like a PlayStation 2. Ugh, outdated, get the four. Hey! How dare you say that to a very proud PlayStation 2? You shut your mouth. Do you ever get a song you hate stuck in your head and you try to think of a better song, but the two mash together to create something horrible? Make it stop. I took some ibuprofen yesterday. Today I woke up at 1 p.m. And later, I mean pizza. I consider that self-care. Have you drank any water yet today? I want a lawyer. Hey, bro, can you pass me your agenda for a second? No, 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 I'm not going to do anything to it. I just want to, I, I just want to look at it. Yeah, 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 that's what they all say. Hey, hey, it's okay to like bad characters. Not like morally bad, but actually badly written. They might scratch an itch you can't get anywhere else. So like them. Ain't no one going to tell you you can't. This ain't 1984 yet. I'm pretty, I feel like I could give a couple of answers of series that could scratch this itch, but I don't want to awaken those phantoms. Just kidding. Yes, I do. Did you mean Riverdale and Ruby in the final seasons of Steven Universe? I'm just kidding, guys. Love you. I'm going through my Skyrim screenshot folder. Do you want to poison the delicious quinoa, Susan? Who names the character Susan? Um, I'm poisoning an enchanted crossbow, which I gave a nickname to so I wouldn't accidentally sell it. The name of the weapon is Delicious Quinoa, Susan. A as you do. Well, get doxxed! That's not the Milky Way. Who the fuck do you have a beef with, OP? Wouldn't you like to know? Writing prompt. You're an ancient Greek man coming home from four months of war to find your wife three months pregnant. Now you've embarked on a solemn quest to punch Zeus in the face. Soon after you begin your quest, you encounter another man in a similar situation. You decide to join forces, as two mortal men stand a better chance at punching Zeus than one. Two villages over, you encounter a woman who had relations with Zeus and was left with a highly aggressive half-boar, half-man offspring. She too feels your anger and offers to join your quest. By the time you reach Mount Olympus, you've amassed a formidable army of cuckolded, ravished mortals, demigods with daddy issues, mythical creatures with scores to settle, and a seamstress who you're pretty sure is Hera in disguise. Zeus never stood a chance. I want to fucking read this book. Where it? Somebody write this! I'm not mentally ill. I just have an unparalleled commitment to the bit. God. Did you know? Hyperion studies show that most cases of what some people perceive as environmental destruction and pollution is really an external projection of their own anxiety and inability to accept change in their surroundings. Okay, Hyperion, let's get you to bed. Spoken like a shoe for the mattress industry. Hammocks are better, though? Hammocks are but a gateway mattress. Sheep! Hey, what's the Tumblr equivalent of Hey Siri? Science side of Tumblr. Hey, science side of Tumblr, explain. Science side of Tumblr here. I'm in your phone. Uh, I don't like that answer. Try again. What, what are my pronouns? They're mine! You can't have them! <laughs> hey, Andy? Oh, that's right. He's on vacation. Well, I guess it's just you and me, guys. When people give me compliments, I feel like a vending machine trying to accept a wrinkly dollar, and it's just really frustrating for everyone involved. I've never related to anything more in my life. Yeah, you didn't put a name tag on your boyfriend and he despawned. <sighs> Sorry. I'm starting to think that maybe you guys don't know what a boyfriend is. This time of the year makes me feel cold. Ugh, humans in winter. What, what are you? What are you? Dear heavily tattooed people, if I'm staring at you, it's not because I'm judging you. I'm just trying to check out your ink. It's good stuff. We all laugh at Guy Fieri, Smash Mouth, and the Shrek movie series, but we all also collectively agree that their existence makes the world a better place. The king laughs the jester, but values his wit and honesty. Because you know, 
Somebody once told me the world is going to roll me, and I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Heather's is the epitome of only in Ohio. You don't really need drugs to have a good time at Home Depot. Every time I go to Home Depot, I feel intoxicated from the pure energy within it. Infant experiencing the lighting aisle for the first time. Or an adult experiencing the lighting aisle for the millionth time. Why do we keep using the same human names over and over? I want to meet a guy named The Wheelbarrow or Impact Wrench. I think I'd be friends with someone named Impact Wrench. Why shouldn't I embrace the madness? Who's going to stop me? Me? Not today, bitch! In the back of the club, arms folded because I don't agree with the music selection. This is how DJs are born. It's not, he's never done a thing wrong in his life. It's, he's done a thousand things wrong and I just don't care. Look at him. Wanted posters are just cowboy call-out posts. And I ain't got time for twit longer. Sometimes people are stupid. Sometimes they don't know what's true or what's good for them. You won't know if those people are misinformed or just stubborn. And only one way to find out. If you open a soda and it smells like Vicks VapoRub, that's bad, right? If you drink that, you'll die. Instructions unclear. Got it with Sprite and drunk half of it. What did you drink, Melon? Why? Said to the tone of someone demanding to know what's in a dog's mouth. <laughs> Why is everything blurry? I love going viral on Tumblr.com. It's like if you stood in a field and said some of the stupidest shit a human being is capable of and then 50,000 crows attacked you. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me. The Game Awards were cool, but what if instead in an award show, it was a 12-hour long trilogy of films based on J.R. Tolkien's magnum opus, Lord of the Rings? My friend, have I got the solution for you. No way. No fucking way. If I had PM Seymour narrate my posts, I'd want him to give me a voice sounding like Markiplier just to spite you all. Can I interest you in a new Five Nights at Fumble's fan game? Well, my only fans. Don't forget that sometimes you just need to rock back and forth, perhaps do a little wiggle, engage in a shimmy even, for your health. Some of us are put on this earth to draw characters standing against a blank background 5,000 times. It's not always true. Sometimes it's a triangle. Sometimes it's a square. Sometimes it's gradients. We, we jazz it up a bit. Have y'all listened to some banger music and imagine a character that's cool and then just forget about it? I hate it. Why is that pine cone drinking? To forget. Canada time! OP, what does this mean? Canada is happening. Right here. Right now. Yeah. Whatever souls are made of, yours and mine are the same. Insult. <gasps> How dare. Taking my pet calorie for a brisk walk. Dear God, what have I done? A girl must see her special little character at least once a day, lest she get consumed by rage and start throwing rocks at people. God invented caffeine just so I could down an entire medium Starbucks caramel frappuccino, buzz around like a bee on steroids for 15 minutes, and then promptly get sleepy and pass out for three hours. Ah, my whole day. If she's your girl, why is she using my crafting table, hmm? I'm not saying she's a slut. I'm just saying her spawn point isn't set to her own bed very often, hmm? <laughs> I pity the future historians that are going to try to take a crack at this one. The fact that almost none of our future tech is orb-shaped is so fucked up. The fact that we're still in Square World really shows how primeval and animalistic we still are. Pucky, I hate to tell you, but some of the strongest shapes in nature are based off of triangles. So if we were to follow that route, it would be four-sided pyramids and hexagons and the like. Orbs and circles aren't space efficient. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but check this cool shit out. <laughs> Balls. And you ruined it. But what if I'm the dumbest person in the room? Can I still find a different room? Am I stuck in this room forever? Please, I want to leave! I've been here for three years! I want out! My mom's favorite pastime is to come into my room, insult all of my life choices, list everything I already know I need to do, making me ten times more stressed about it than I was before, then leave my door open. All right. Opens the can of worms. We should have different body types for main characters in Pokemon. Please and thank you. Not to be insensitive, but some of the Salem witch trials were so funny. Bitches like, I saw her at the Devil's Sacrament. Girl, what were you doing at the Devil's Sacrament, hmm? Stepping on crunchy leaves is the real-life equivalent of breaking bricks in Super Mario. Ah, wahoo. You show a cat something and they're like, Ooh, I understand now. I don't care. If an elf and a dwarf fucked, would it make a human? 
well, going by older editions of D&D, they made an awkward, ugly thing called a dwarf, which usually combined the worst aspects of both races' personalities and physical construction. <sighs> yeah, a human. The computer from Courage could fix me. Same. If I die, I want all of you at my funeral. Just confuse the fuck out of my family. Transformers is about love and loss and time and change, but fundamentally, it is about old friends and ancient grievances. It's also about cool robot turn into car! Yeah, baby! Your girlfriend told me that she thinks my takes are way more nuanced than yours. Yeah. Yeah, she thinks you can't get past surface level interpretations, and she's leaving you for my analysis. Sorry. Not writing. Not not writing. But a secret third thing. Letting my story spin around my head like a microwave. What time is it, you ask? I pull out my 2.7 metric ton granite sundial and immediately crush both of your feet, and I loudly announce, It is cloudy! Me begging on my knees, sobbing, voice raw, whispering quietly, Please, dear God, let me enjoy something in moderation. My brain, obsessed, 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 obsessed. I'm gonna say Candyman five times while my homie says Beetlejuice three times, and we're gonna make him fight. Okay, maybe there is still some funny people on Twitter. And here comes Bloody Mary with the steel chair! So I would love to be a werewolf, but my main worry is if it would affect my digestive system. Like, I love eating stuff like grapes and chocolate, but I'm not sure if my wolf form can handle it without keeling over and dying. Guys, that's a new writing prompt. The new weaknesses for werewolves. Trans women names are like 22nd century cyberpunk hacker jewel thieves. And trans man names are like drowned Victorian children. Exactly as it should be. If I may add, NB names are often just like nouns. I had a classmate once named Brick, and that is the single most powerful name I've ever heard. One time I dreamt someone sold my OC as an NFT, you, against my will, and we fought over it in a Zoom meeting. I want to travel back in time and try to explain this sentence to myself in the 1990s. I don't think anyone even spoke English back then. Yeah, as a 90s kid, I can confirm we didn't speak English at all. Nope, no sorry, nope. I was chatting with a donor before I drew his blood, and he was a dentist. When I actually drew him, there was just a little squirt of blood, and it surprised him. I looked him in the eye and told him, You're bleeding because you don't floss. And he went dead silent. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Once I said busted nut in front of my 11-year-old sister, and I didn't want to get in trouble for it when my dad asked what that meant. So I said it meant being mad at something. And my dad has meetings regularly with four-star admirals. And I really didn't think he'd remember this, but he dropped his shit and he said he was going to bust a nut and explain to him what I told him it meant. And now apparently <laughs> they like the phrase. Ellie, you're going to cause a goddamn international crisis. You know, a lot of scantily clad women with numbers in their URLs are following me lately. They must be smitten with my devilish charm. Minimalism is cool, but have you ever had all the things you love in your room? Not since she left. Oh! Oh, dude! Someone give T-Boot some love! Jesus! Masked individual with they slash them pronouns. Call that an... A non-binary. <laughs> Working in an office is just like being in a horse movie, except the horse is a printer. I'm the only one in the office who can make it work, and it's because the printer and I have a special bond. It's a wild and untamable spirit, and we're going to win the big race. I can't believe horse girls are secretly working in offices now. Spotify wrapped, but it's your bank showing you your 100 worst purchases of the year. My Keanu Reeves Jesus bath mat is the top of the list. I humbly request a visual. Bake says worst purchase, but my heart says best. I love it and I want one. Friendly reminder to assume that all my OCs are bisexual unless explicitly stated otherwise. It's buy or die in this house.